Hello, I'm Peachy. Hello, I'm the voice of Patrick. Hello, and I'm the voice and the face of Jeff. <laughs> and today we are joined by Annie Norman from Bad Squiddo Games. Hello, Hello Annie. Hello. Thank you for joining Hello. us. So, uh, you have been on the scene for some some years. Yes. Making miniatures. Almost a veteran. Oh. I know, that was a bit of a statement, actually. <laughs> a She's not a veteran. Yes. So, in space ring terms, that means a stud in your skull soon, surely, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Are you going to shave your head? <laughs> Got to go for a haircut. I've done that. I've Halfway there. I like there. it. Just a bit more bit. You know. Now, for the audience, if you are listening, it's not going to bother you. If you're watching, I've got a nose that just won't stop bleeding. <laughs> And I've super glued it. I've done all sorts of things. And it's just irritating me. So you're going to see me doing this from time to time because it just won't stop bleeding. I don't know what it is. I blame my kid for scratching my face. That's what it is. Right. Anyway, that aside. Um, so you've been um, making a lot of miniatures over the years, predominantly, if not all, obviously vegetables aside, uh, are females. They are. Um, and you refer to them as realistic females. Um, realistic or, Female miniatures. Realistic female. We don't go female. Females! That's the original one. Some of the other ones I was listening to, I was like, no, he's saying females. <laughs> so, so yeah, female miniatures. Well, I've been started using femme a lot more as femme, well. It's a bit oh. more all encompassing. Um, <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah, lady lady minis, yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, I didn't realise I, I actually own one. I need to search for it, which is Teresa Marino from Sharp. So if you know me, you know I like Sharp and I've got Teresa. Uh, you made her, which is great. Um, so, yeah, talk about where that all came from, the, the, the whole concept of like why you started Bad Squiddo. So, uh, Bad Squiddo started in 2015, Ooh. which is a lot longer than yeah. that. As I still get people going, it's all right. In your first couple, I'm only my first couple of years. No, I've been around forever. Yes. Um, but before that, I ran a company called the Dice Bag Lady. Oh yes, sure. I do remember the Dice Bag Lady. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I had a few people go, "Oh, that was you," and then sort of realised it was the same person all along. <laughs> yes, I had a haircut. <laughs> that was it. Uh, so yeah, before that, um, I I had a pretty well established company that I sometimes. Don't give the credit that it deserves, because hmm. Dice Bag Lady, in my head, I'll kind of go, oh, yeah, I had this little Dice Bag company. Like, no, that survived by itself for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was just custom bags, you know, uh, all handmade with you know, people's different insignias and bits like that. So hand embroidered. Oh, wow. Um, and it was really successful. And I never really had to, like, tout for business, yeah, because yeah. I just had this ongoing list. So I just yeah. go through the list. Uh, and that was pretty mad but then i bust my hands <laughs> oh okay right. my, yeah i'm like, like don't do crochet kids like, <laughs> don't do it all day so is it actually the crochet that busted your hands it was yeah oh, wow fantastic. yeah because oh i was God. just doing it so intensely yeah. I'm like this will never have any <laughs> any effects bad at all so how many bags are you doing it like on, on average a day oh, i don't know i don't know so that sounds like a cigarette habit i'm like 20 bags a day because i kind of did stuff in batches so i could never really yeah um yeah. But it was, oh yeah, it was the mixture of crochet embroidery, but the crochet, man, that was, that was what did it. Yeah. But, I, I've but dabbled yeah, in got, crochet myself. Yeah. Uh, only in a little. moderation. Only do it in moderation. Well, my mum used to do all yeah. sorts of things like cross stitch and stuff like that. So, um, and I, I've done a little bit of knitting, a little bit of, I'm better at cross stitch and uh, crochet. I don't think I did much of that because I just couldn't get my head around it. So, kudos. Mm. Uh, but yes, uh, knitting, I hated that. <laughs> Yeah, I am like Sylvester Stallone from Demolition Man. I, uh, that's the skill I learned when I left prison. I didn't leave prison, by the way. I've not gone to prison. We're still in prison. That's, that's, this is prison. It's where, it's where you got the bloody nose from. Yeah, yeah. It's those little sort of cocktail stick shivs. It was my child. Yeah, I was in a riot. Sorry, prison break. Big Tom. Um, but yeah, so that, that was for... That was about 2019, no, 2009. Mm, that I set okay, up. yeah. Um, so basically, nearly all of my adult life, I've been in war games industry, yeah, yeah. which is partly why I go, I'm a veteran, and then people go, you're still a child, <laughs> but still like. So, how, um, how old are you? If you don't mind me, I know it's not something you normally ask a lady. <laughs> um, I'm 33. 33. Yeah, so, so I started Dice Bag Lady when I was 19. Wow. And at university. Yeah, good for you. Um, and now I've been in this hell zone. <laughs> Help me get out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're making cool um, minis, so that's fine. I've kind of been through all sort of different aspects of it. Um, so again, it's when people say, you know, oh, you're new to like, I'm not new. 
No, Although no. when you get those sort of people online, they're like yeah. coming into our hobby. Yeah, like, you're a hobby oh, tourist. I am a hobby. You're a hobby tourist. That's um, that seems to be yeah. a new thing these days. Oh, yeah, I saw some badges. I have to get some badges. <laughs> <laughs> I've also got to stop spinning. Like, I promise not to. It's oh so yeah, spinny, I can. I can hear the creaking in my headphones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. spinny. Uh, it's a bit Sorry. of ASMR for the. Uh, well, for well the tell views, you what. It, could you generally point the microphone a bit more towards you, and then I can like, turn your volume down. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, even more, even more. Ooh, yeah, there yeah. we go. There we go. I'll just not, He's got is his there new... a way of stopping the spin? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Okay, <laughs> just, you just keep, just keep your feet. Move. Just like do that. It's all, it, it's all in the hips. <laughs> <laughs> As, this is just uh, an excuse for Pat yeah. to play with his new dashboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, also I've got my feet on the thing, which yeah, yeah, to yeah. Help, oh, but yeah. I, I twist a little bit when I obviously turn around to talk to people. That's rotation. Maybe we need to get some new stools. We do well. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll spin. get a new studio as well. That'd be great. And be that would bigger. Be good. We can spread out. We'll have couches. Yeah, but like the one show, but hobby. That's 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 my vibe. I'm going down. <laughs> the one show, but hobby. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's that's really interesting that you went straight into like, I guess, hobby related stuff at the age of nineteen, making bags. Um, I assume for for dice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even mention that. Just, just, just bags. Because obviously, you called yourself. Dice bag lady. Yeah. So um, I got into Warhammer as a kid. And I think a lot of people, you kind of start, stop. And then when I was at university, I was studying fine art. And one of the projects we had was small scale. And somebody on my course, I overheard saying, oh, my brother does this perfect oh, wow. <laughs> perfect Warhammer thing. Um, and it was, I went, oh, yeah, Warhammer. I wonder if that's still around. I love that. <laughs> kind of like still that around. was the thing that made me like and I went that was unfortunately my first sort of experience of Warhammer online uh, <laughs> okay, I, yeah, yeah. because as a kid I just I didn't I wasn't aware of that community yeah, yeah, and yeah. I didn't seem to have a computer when everyone else did either so no I think I was, I, probably that if you go back a little bit I mean I'm probably only 10 years older than you but yeah when I was probably at college and uni uh, I, I I don't even think I had a mobile yeah. phone. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it's, yeah, times have changed quite a bit. Everyone seems to have them nowadays. It's, it's mad. So, yeah, I went to, like, do 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 Warhammer into Google. Um, went, oh, it's still a thing. Mm. And discovered that there are actually hobby shops that aren't just games workshops. And mm. slightly, sorry, I keep looking at your bleeding nose. Oh, is it still oh, bleeding? No, no, it's not it's bleeding. bleeding. No, no. It's it's bleeding. Bleeding. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> Hey. Stop! Stop looking at it. I'm looking at it. I've dried it up. I yeah, was like yeah, that. Yeah. That's why I was it's just what you focus on. Yeah. So uh, uh, but before we started, uh, I thought I'd do a quick medical uh, fix with some super glue, and uh, I was going well. And then there was a little bit of blood leaking, so I got some tissue, and then I just had loads of dry tissue stuck to my nose. So I spent about half what well, felt like half, an age, half an hour, just trying to scrape off tissue, super glue, and tissue off my nose, which probably made the cut worse. So but you said it was a very good icebreaker. It was. <laughs> like, Hello. <things> just <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now it's really high yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe that's, that's how we should do the show from now on no that's a terrible idea don't watch that's, this to be a policeman that's the uh, 100,000 subscriber special right? well that's drunken hobby right not, not, not we all do hobby. a variety of substances <laughs> I'm not committing to that <laughs> Mrs. Peace the watches going you know the police might watch this as well right yeah. the, paint, the paint and face ketamine special <laughs> <laughs> I'm out <laughs> I'm ill that day whenever it is I'm ill <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm far too vanilla to do that yeah, yeah. yeah. so fine art I, I used to do illustration at uni uh, and I always used to uh, revere the fine artists but also hate them in equal measure because yeah. uh, yeah. they're very sort of like oh I'm going to be edgy today and I'm going to paint a canvas with my nipples. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, is that, was that still the same kind of thing when pretty you were... Much, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I am so full of self-hatred, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but I didn't last out the course. Oh, did you not? Luckily, no. I did you went and made a business instead, well, so good for you. to do. I quit after two years in. <laughs> I well, that's the interesting what? time to quit, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is in. I, I've I got did. a very anti-sunk cost, and it was that like mm, the sunk cost is telling me to stay, but mm. the I do what I want, screw you. So yeah, cost. yeah. I mean, I um, spent th year one putting so much effort in that didn't count towards your final degree. Year two putting lots of effort in that yeah. was like twenty percent. <laughs> year three knackered, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just straight of a two two. <laughs> so yeah, I can see why you want to like bail out. So oh. yeah, it was that little prompt that kind of made me go, oh, Warhammer. Mm. And uh, Mum will eventually watch this because she does watch all my things, <laughs> um, and she does feel bad each time I mention this anecdote, but. Uh, I go and oh mum, I've left all my Warhammer because I was away at university. I was like, oh, I've still got all my Warhammer. Ah, uh, 
yeah, oh, yeah, I don't think you're into that anymore. So I kind of <laughs> just gave it all away. <laughs> no! That's a killer. So I had to sort of start from scratch yeah. then. Um, but yeah, the, the dice bag thing kind of just came from, you know, oh, I, I was crocheting a lot and made a bag. Like the way most companies start. And then some other people go, oh, that's cool. Can I make that? Yeah. And then before I knew it, that was doing Ace. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was anything behind me dropping out of uni. There was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> there was yeah, a lot yeah, on at yeah. that time. Um, but yeah, and then it just kind of spiralled out of that. But I was uh, doing a lot, uh, a lot of different uh, Warhammer events and things around then as well. So I think that helps that I was, wasn't just, you know, advertising online. I was yeah, getting to yeah. all these events and hanging out with people. And it wasn't, and I feel like there's this weird thing with being a business in a hobby that's almost like, I'm untrustworthy or something, you know, because it's like, oh, you're in it to get some cash or, you know, like, yeah, you're yeah, not quite yeah. one of us, you know, and I have that sort of paranoia a bit. Um, but no, I was genuinely absolutely yeah. loving tournaments, making friends, uh, as well as covering like my hotel fee, basically, yeah, with yeah. Uh, with some of that. And then over a chunk of it for about a year when I was really went, okay, this is a business, uh, rather than just a little side thing that actually can go somewhere. I was living in various vans and caravans for a year because <laughs> the profit wasn't great, yeah, but it was yeah. manageable. Yeah. Um, but in order to kind of get everything set up without that massive stress, I did did lose the... Did the people, were they aware you were living in their caravans yeah, when you were doing this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a caravan. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just <laughs> Crash on that one. <laughs> just early. I was in the middle of nowhere for a while, yeah, yeah. weirdly in the Cotswolds, with uh, okay, nobody yeah. about and no public transport. And I remember getting quite ill, thinking I'm going to die out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh crikey <laughs> that is probably quite um, dark origins like random anecdote interjection from me I, yeah I was at a wedding in the Cotswolds uh, last year and the couple had a mechanical bull and a bridesmaid bless her was the first one to jump on she fell off and she dislocated her shoulder um, and they were like I ran in and was like we need to call an ambulance for this girl and she was like well, we can't because there isn't any There's signal. Nowhere. Wait a minute. I'll go up the hill. Um, and then she came back and went, yeah, it's going to be like over three hours. Yeah. That's crazy. mad. So I yeah. could have died out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I died oh, out there. So, found in this pile of glad, yarn. Glad you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've come a long way since then. And it was the, so once the rest stopped working, mm. I'd already booked, I'd already done one salute uh, with, yes, the, with the yeah. dice bags. So yeah. I'd already had the second one booked. And I was like, what am I going to do? I had some. And we yeah, <laughs> were like, well, yeah. I want to go. Uh, so Bad Squidder Games sort of popped up as this, like, it'll do, and really didn't think it would last. So what did you start with when you, you moved from, obviously, because you only had a like, limited amount of bags left and yeah, into yeah. Bad Squiddo. Um Obviously, that must have been quite a sort of, I need to get loads of stuff together. Yeah. So, so how, how did that start? Where did, where, what, it's some, what? something I will never recommend anyone do. <laughs> so, yeah, people are like, oh, it's so inspiring. Like, don't do it. But it was, there was a lot of luck involved in that. And I would not recommend. <laughs> if you are starting your own business, definitely have a paying job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't be already massively in debt and injured and then get more into debt to yeah, start yeah. a business. Uh, it has worked, but... I assume, you know, 99% of the other time it wouldn't have. Uh, so I, because back back in the sort of warhammer days, I, warhammer days, I was a really active, I still am, uh, Twitter has always been my main mm. sort of social media. Uh, so I was quite active around there and always popping up around. <laughs> I was kind of already, always have. I think in tournament times, I was always on like Bad Dice podcast and stuff. Yeah, don't you yeah, remember yeah. That? I yeah, I do remember Bad Dice. I assume yeah. they're not going anymore. No, that's um, Ben Curry, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that did that. Johnson. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. he works for Ben's, Workshop yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so kind of had that following. And one of the things that I had been on my ranting about over the last few years had been that once I'd started playing historical games, I went, there's not the female minis that I want. They kind of suck. Yeah. Um, and I'd never noticed with, you know, with, like playing fantasy because it's fantasy so yeah. i've been playing uh, like vampire counts most time and sexy vampire ladies are kind of part of it yeah, you know it yeah. makes sense yeah it's so very never, horror kind yeah of i'd vibe, never kind yeah. of thought about it because yeah. it was just like well it fits you know it's part of the genre and all that and then mm. once i was like well i want some shield maidens yeah. that are just you know not in bikini. lady vikings you know? <laughs> yeah so yeah so like oh let's have a look oh there aren't any yeah um and so that was something that i'd been I did used to get very angry. <laughs> I did I did used to get involved in those arguments yeah, online yeah, yeah. that I really tend to stay away from now. Yeah. And it's, it's partly good better, yeah. because of my business. But it's meant that I've managed to 
like merge any of my rage into small bits of wit <laughs> instead <laughs> where I can just wind someone up and then go away rather than have them ruin my day sort of arguing about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I used to argue about that a lot. And yeah. People going... Rrr, rrr. So at that point, I thought, well, I've built up enough of a following. Uh, this is something I'm interested in, passionate about. People I've spoke to, you know, some of the other companies have said it's not worth doing. Um, hmm. Because well, the reason we do this is because people buy them and yeah. they won't buy them if they're clothed. So I was kind of like, well, they obviously find do. out. Let's yeah. find out. You well, know, like eight years you've been doing this. Yeah. Or, yeah so I put, so. Um, I put the last bit of my money, well, last bit of my overdraft, basically, into. Uh, I started stocking originally, so I stocked different, different female minis hmm. from different companies. Um, so you had like a one one place to get them from because hmm. it was just like there's one from this company, one from that company. Yeah, yeah. And they're all like um, different scales sometimes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of that have all the scale guides yeah, and everything. Oh God, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and then just before Salute, uh, there was something I'd always, I remember the first Salute I did, I shared with a stand that were sort of setting up their own uh, their own range. I was like, wow, imagine making minis. That'd be so cool. But it's not something I can do because yeah. I'd never thought about how you even go about it. Mm. Uh, so that's when I started. So for that Salute, was it 2015? I had one miniature. <laughs> what <laughs> one was the miniature? miniature. Remind, remind me. Uh, it was just one one little shield main. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there was just loads of interest. And I, I really didn't see it last in the year. Mm. I was kind of like, oh, it's the last ditch attempt. I applied to a few different war games companies to work there. And yeah. I'm really glad none of them let me. <laughs> 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 I guess, yeah, you want to be doing what you're doing. Yeah. So uh, from my point of view as a, as a historical war gamer as well, um, I think you've done it quite cleverly. Um, if that's even a phrase, term of phrase. So you've done like Russians, female yeah. Russians. They they yeah, yeah. they served in the female army. You've sure done did. female Viking handmaid uh, shield maidens. I'm about to say handmaidens. They're probably very different. <laughs> that's, that's a whole different. That's a whole different range. <laughs> I say that's I definitely get some feminist show. points across though if you were to make yeah. them. But you've got like uh, SOE agents. Uh, you've got um, like you've done like the Queen. You've done like lo lo lots of like personalities. Like you've done the monarchy. You've got all these different things. Sci-fi. So if you can do what you want yeah. with sci-fi, you've done like a range of Langill stuff. Yeah. Um, so it is good and correct. And makes sense as well. So <laughs> anyone that's like has any beef of it, it, it's like, well, you've got beef with reality and history yeah. then, have you? Is, is that how, how it is? Because I mean, I've, like I said before we went on, I've got some of the uh, Russians as well as Teresa. Teresa Marina is yeah. made up. She's in the sharp books. <laughs> Good. But Annie is sculptured in the last outfit she dies in. <laughs> Still hurts. Still hurts. Still hurts. <laughs> I, I can feel sharp. No, tears are welling up. Uh, but yeah, so you know, you've done it in such a practical, normal sense that makes sense from a from a gaming point of view. I mean, I, I'm a, a lad of the eighties. Um, I like my fantasy art, my books and ladies in you know bikinis and stuff like that for fantasy art and stuff. I've always uh, Suggs is the same way. We often used to look at like the Frank Frazetta art. Yeah, like that. But, yeah. But there's also a place for that. And yeah, there's a place absolutely. For, realistic looking stuff as well so that, that's one of the things that often gets misunderstood probably on purpose especially when i started out not so much now but it was yeah i kind of announced what i was doing and then it's like she's taking our boobs away <laughs> like, no i'm not they're underneath the clothes <laughs> no, no, still there. the entire thing has always been the choice and yeah. the fact that i didn't have the choice at the start yes that if yeah, you yeah. do go right it's like a, a female character it's like which bikini would you like yeah yeah <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah absolutely um, so it has been a bit misunderstood with people like oh yeah she always wants everyone all covered up all the time like no that's just i want to add that because that increases the choice yeah there's still plenty of people doing sexy minis yeah, and that's yeah. absolutely fine yeah. Um, some one of mine has actually got a close to a bikini on. Oh my god! Belly dancer. A belly. Oh yes. I know. Yeah, when, yeah, I, when yeah. I launched, it, I was like, oh no! I've, what have I created? I'm, my own people are going to come for me. Um, but the general rule. But that's what they wear. Yeah. That's what they wear, that's isn't exactly. it? It's not. So the main, like, when I'm deciding the, you know, costuming and stuff. It's would would the mini choose to wear yeah, that? Because I've never seen a belly dancer in a big cardigan. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's generally what they wear, isn't it? So you are you are You're not into a <laughs> <laughs> So if you know if you know if you've been for you know being, it's uniform correct. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? exactly. You know. So yeah, if you're a World War II troop, and that's something that really bothered me because there was a real for such a huge gaming platform, you know, mm. World War II, to have only a very small representation, which was that sort of woman in that is not standardized uniform yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. like leaning against tank and stuff like those people died <laughs> you know? yeah, and yeah. the only way that you'll recognize them is in that pin-up form yeah. and not you know any of the achievements or anything they did 
Um, so that was what really got me got me into that sort yeah, of uh, yeah. I mean because there's so many females that actually did contribute to World War II for many women. Re- re- call reasons them I mean, women like, women <laughs> call yeah, them sorry women. Right, sorry uh, <laughs> ladies ladies <laughs> lasses I'm going to go shop and just go lasses <laughs> thank you males for having me on the show <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> female <laughs> we males here <laughs> excellent what are you going to say Pat well it's coming, coming from a, a, I guess a bit of a place of ignorance um because I I've I've seen people online say well oh, the females and it, like where's where's that come from why is that bad um, I think it's partly the old Star Trek thing of the females but it's because it's um, so it's female as adjective or noun so if it's as a noun that's when it's weird if you just imagine well when you think of it back in conversation females yeah is like it's just weird yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah if it's like females yeah, right. just, we don't say you know, ma- yeah, we don't males. say males we say yeah, yeah. men yeah yeah, yeah. And, women, and generally yeah. like yeah it's heavy in, in bar, rap it's heavy in rap as well isn't it uh, i guess and, that's and, rhyming and the, to fe- some extent, the female right? female comes up quite a lot when you go well the word you're looking for is woman yeah you know what i mean <laughs> yeah you know you know you know you know what you know you know you don't go, hang on, I will get the female of the house to answer this kind of telephone yeah. call. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like my wife would come and take the phone bar. and hit me as she went by if I was saying, yeah. the female of the house is on the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I never really thought about that. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, sometimes yeah. just words just come out and you, yeah, just, you so get on with like life and stuff. Adjectives, yeah. yeah, like female, many female yeah. representation. There's nothing wrong with the word female. No, yeah. no, no. But yeah, yeah the understanding and I won't of it. Yeah. Kill anyone because I wouldn't have Good. come on the show if I was like, just a mild maiming. Maybe. Just a mild maiming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I like to when I I've got a James Bond game. I've talked about it on other uh, shows and stuff. But one of the things I like is it sounds really weird. Is I like to have a mix of uh, men and women. I said I did it right then. Well done. Uh, as bad as as hench, as hench men and women, hench, yep. as hench, hench people, <laughs> hench folk, hench folk, hench peeps, uh, and they all die in droves. And I've got a load of like British Tommies, but they don't do like obviously. Uh, women versions of uh, British Tommies because yeah. I don't suppose uh, other than like SOE agents with the odd bit of gear and stuff like that wasn't many but Russians they, they did they, so yeah, like, yeah. lots of like you know big heavy outfits and like yeah. the Klajnikovs look always good yeah. on, a, on, a, on a baddie <laughs> or something like that um, so yeah I mean um, males and late uh, males and females I'm going to say it just because it's stuck in my head now, I'm, <laughs> say, I'm yeah. panicking I'm panicking <laughs> yeah. you're going to get cancelled but, but yeah get canceled. that's fine um, oh, d- d- people I've been cancelled many times it's okay um, but yeah so it's just a nice to have that like nice mix and they're all in the same outfits as well which feels right um, so I've gone to other like companies where i'm like oh yeah i want this dude in this outfit and then i'm going to get that that last in that outfit oh it's completely different oh so they don't oh, the same well, now yeah i have a very big bugbear with this i used to play um infinity mm. which is a, a a beautifully sculpted miniature range and it's really cool but the problem where they had was that it would have very standardized uniforms until it came to the 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 i'm going to use it in the right term hopefully here <laughs> Female soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And and it was, the fact was that you were going, well, hang on, the guy's wearing the same outfit as her, but his flak jacket is mid-groin. Yeah, yeah. And hers is halfway up her chest <laughs> with her belly out. <laughs> is she just a lot braver? Do, yeah. Are the sizings all wrong? And they would do like the, like the high-tech Japanese, Chinese units in like these really cool anime suits. But then the female anime suit would have a big wedge, in, big wedge sole. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was just this thing is because you know being ex- of those high heels. I know I have to bring it up every episode. But being ex-military, to me, is a standardisation of uniform. If if you if you look at photographs of modern day infantry uh, infantry soldiers at a reasonable distance, you can't tell who's yeah, a man yeah, and who's yeah. a woman. Well, you take the idea because the helmet's instance. down here. Yeah, the yeah. flak the flak armor can be potentially up to chin height, and with all the mixture of camouflage and all the gear on, you can't tell. Yeah. And to some degree, that's what it should be. If you went, okay, we've this miniature is five mil shorter than the other miniature, you go, yeah, that's fine. Cause because statistically women are shorter than men. Yeah. And maybe it's not a, quite as broad. And you go, but then again, with all the kit, that shouldn't be hugely noticeable. And it became utterly ridiculous. And it was this miniature where I thought, I think I'm pretty much going to stop was that you have got female futuristic and male futuristic Scots in the Infinity range. And they did. All of the male ones look like First World War, um, battle dress jackets, kilts, side hats, uh, Glengarry's, and like a futuristic-looking rifle. And then 
the woman looked like she's turned up late because she's running. <laughs> her jacket is open and it's got a skimpy top on underneath. She's wearing Japanese school, schoolgirl mid-thigh socks yeah, yeah, where yeah, the yeah. guys are wearing traditional Highlander <laughs> yeah, socks yeah, yeah, yeah. just under the knee. And she, her jacket's open. They, you, there is actually sculpted knicker yeah. because the I was going to say, does, does she have a far too thong? short? And she's carrying the most annoying thing, the most useful weapon in the team <laughs> she can't even do away with it and she's running like that with her hand on her head so oh, no. oh is there a war on sorry <laughs> I'm late and do you know what I actually thought you know what I'm I'm, yeah, done now. I'm tapping out yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I'm not I you know I, I, I like to think I like to think I'm feminism aware but I wouldn't you know I think for me so oh I'm a feminist I think that's uh, I, that's you know probably not true but I like to think that but when you then start going this is how they are all are standardised and then, but, but not the women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just thought, oh. well, when you take like TV shows like Galactica, like yeah. the, 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 they're all, they're all like the, you've got the Marines, whatever they are, the ones that look yeah. like, you know, modern day forces, men and women in there. Yeah, absolutely just, right. The and same. the other one that's a great, the crew look the same. Another one that's a great example of it is the, uh, the Martian Marines in The Expanse. Yes. No difference yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, 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 None yeah. at all. Really, TV and shows have caught up really, really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Really they have caught up really well. Credit to GW, I guess, with the new Cadians, because yeah. all the bodies are the same yeah, and yeah. you just have different, uh, heads. Yeah. different heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I still, I mean, I still collect daughters of Ken because I, I like the vibe of them. My wife Absolutely likes love the them till I went to paint them and oh, yeah, sold yeah. them all. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got some quick ways I can teach you. It's fine, but my wife loves them. You know, when she looks at them, she's like, oh, they're really cool because they look like you know that they'll, they'll end you pretty quickly. Uh, but I've always referred to them as uh, rock chicks in thigh high boots because that's kind of what they look yeah. like, really. But, but I again, also like in a, that fantasy world yeah, as well, there's a place like, for it. Yeah, yeah exactly, I think there is a place exactly. for it. If you go, these are a fast moving female troop. They wouldn't be. Bogged I mean, down in, in massive amounts of armor. It's a weird thing because, like, with fantasy, it's a whole range of female warriors. Yeah, right? it's just this entire faction, which is led by Marathi, makes sense. Then you talk about your Scots dudes. Yeah, doesn't yeah, make sense. yeah, it doesn't make sense so at it's, all. Again, with yeah. the would the miniature dress themselves like this? Absolutely. So right. yeah, in the doors of Cain, of course they would. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's like part of the whole mythos and yeah. lore yeah. and all. You that. know, this thing of going, but, you've been trusted with the, you, you know, in the Infinity Range, I was just talking about you've been trusted with the grenade launcher, but you're not trusted to be able to button your own tunic up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I just, it's just, I just, I just from a fancy dress party. The thing I find about it, which I think is obviously a bit of a weird way to come from, but the way I find about it, weird about it, is it's like. I find it actually insulting to go, this is what we know you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. go, no, what I want is her to look like him. Yeah. And yeah, fair dues, if she's got a big, if she's got a big plait because she's got long hair, but plat, as long yeah. as she's, you know, she's dressed like him, <laughs> yeah. but her hair is in a bun or she's got this or a figure, like I say, is a couple of mils shorter. Take all of that into consideration. But you suggesting that I need a pinup of that miniature? Yeah. No thanks. I don't. In order to have a woman on the table, yeah, yeah it's to got like, to be a sexualized. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Like, and no, you go, no, don't want no. that. Yeah, want yeah. That. Do you know what I mean? Is, why? Why does she have but to? Then be I like, and it wasn't patronizing to men. Yeah, it does. Yeah, well. and I think that's a bit people forget. They yeah. think we all want that yeah, when they're not yeah. actual facts. So if, don't. I'm, if I'm rocking up for for a game, I will then go. Oh, that looks a bit too risque. I'm not going to have that. So then I've just got an army of dudes, which then makes me look a bit of a. A misogynistic pig because I've got no females in it because yeah, I'm just like, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just gonna say I'm it wrong. Scared you, scared <laughs> They're not scared. You know, it's just, my my understanding of the English language is pretty low. Yeah, people say when you were like, yeah, it's an adjective or a noun, and I'm like, um, I, I, what I, are they? Again? <laughs> they're words I've heard before. And yeah. I think they mean something, yeah. but I'll have a look at a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, like the gla the glassiness yeah, coming like, over the eyes straight away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah well, I know. I know. Like collective nouns, are like is like a murder of crows, isn't it? So the noun <laughs> is the crow. I don't know, right? man. Uh, I don't remember. Remember. We need to get my nine year old bit. His grammar's doing, really good. I see, I get doing words, doing, doing, doing words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand pronouns. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I've got my head around that. I've got my head around that. It's just like all these other words, verbs, <laughs> verbs. I thought were herbs when I was a kid. I was like, what's is that? Like a different kind of herb? Yeah. Almost, almost a different Welcome thing. to English. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think dyslexia and like the. A poor education system when I was younger didn't help uh, because when you're dyslexic and don't understand what they do is they shove you in a corner and leave you to yourself Yeah. Uh, so then your understanding of the English language is what you learn yourself uh, same yeah. like when I was doing sports swimming I couldn't swim I still can't swim and you know how they dealt with that is they taught the kids that could swim how to swim better and the kid that couldn't swim here's a float go in the shallow end and lock yourself out yeah. oh god so how am I going to learn to swim 
Because no like one's teaching me. Peachy's counselling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take you swimming. If you want Please, to someone swimming. Yeah. I'll teach you Swim. about verbs. I can float. So if it comes to like a drowning situation, I can float. Can Hopefully, float back to shore. Not not face out. down as well. Face yeah. up, please. But yeah. if you were in that oh, situation, you'd prefer to be dressed accordingly to the situation. Yes, I'm not right. I would like to be in a thong and thigh high. No, sorry, my yeah. bad. You, and then you, you could be a, like a siren and, and yeah. lure the ships to I was you. Like, Nina, and they rescue Nina. you. Nina. That's yeah. siren. Instead of like the, the beautiful siren whale, it's just like. It's like, yeah. what is that it's like the Michelin Thai man in thongs <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, we got distracted I'm talking of minis <laughs> yeah. we, we um, away. <laughs> the, something that is very interesting in designing the minis as we've got not that I'd have to refer to the bit of paper um, <laughs> at all, but yeah, there's over 550 minis at the moment. Wow, on your, um, on your... in the whole range, yeah, yeah, and wow. that's not including the animals and the scenics. There's a whole load of that, and we've got like ten dudes. Um, but designing, so I design all the figures. Yeah. Occasionally, the sculptor will design because I've got a, f- a few that will kind of yeah, just yeah. go off on their own. They're like, Annie, I made this. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, cool. Cool, yeah. let's do that. So sometimes it's more of a collaboration yeah. than others. But designing the figures is a whole thing with the, you know, you say, well, say it's just somebody in full army gear. How can you tell? And that's some, sometimes people will say, well, you don't need it because you can't tell. So just say some of them are female. Yeah, yeah. But it's that representation of what the thing is coded as. Yeah. Um, which is the same, um, I can see with some of like the latest GW, where, you know, they'll say there's not many black characters. It's like, well, you can paint it black. like, But it's not, the miniature isn't shown as a black character. And they think they're getting better at that now. Yeah, they're oh, starting yeah. So to again, become, like the, the ones spot, they're doing now are awesome. I'm building some black Templars at the moment, and there is blatantly... There is blatantly heads in there that are to representative yeah, of, of, of black guys. Yeah, and it's not just paint yeah. it as you like. So people say, oh, you can just say that these are women. So it's the... I, I find it really important personally, and obviously then through the business, other people have said the same, that that's how it's presented to you. Mm. So we're like, yes, these are women characters, or even, you know, these are genderless characters that you can use as your, you know, whatever you like. But it's all very he, you yeah, know, man. Yeah, yeah. So designing a figure that has got all the gear on, but isn't exaggerated is a whole thing, because you yeah, don't yeah. want them to just look the same, or there is kind of no point. Um, and I can see one of the arguments is, you know, well, the reason, especially in the 80s, you know, so some of the, like the elf figures and yeah, stuff, yeah, it's yeah. like, we had to give them massive boobs and tiny waists and long hair because there is a whole thing that they're three centimetres, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, need to yeah. be able to, it needs to be coded as to what it is. So from a distance on the table, look feminine. Yeah. So Even there's some um, like super exaggerated. Yeah. So that is partly, yeah. you know, partly it, but there's ways of doing it yeah, better. Yeah. But it is a bit of a struggle sometimes where, yeah, you're like, I've got to change bits slightly mm. because it still needs to be representative. So some of my figures, for example, you might be like, well, if she was wearing that gear, it would be entirely shapeless. Yeah. So I'm like, well, you know, pull her belt a little bit. <laughs> you know, just well, so there's, And it's just so you can see that yeah. sort of thing. So there's always this bending slightly out of reality because, again, the figures are... I do have to remind people this a lot. I go, the figures are... Three centimeters, yeah, Giles. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> someone going like, you know, why are the hands like? Because they're not three centimeters, you know. So say stuff like with the heroic sculpting. Like, yeah. Mine aren't heroic. They're kind of in the middle somewhere. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a fan of um, that super true realism scale yeah, yeah. because everything is so tiny. I like yeah. the character force. You know, like yeah. the hands aren't yeah, really yeah. any wider than. So um, and you can add more details. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, I really like the character yeah. characterism, but also they're not those super eighty massive hand thingies. Yeah. So trying to get the balance for, between all that and yeah, when someone's in full armor. So for example, some of the shield maidens, they wouldn't be running around with chainmail and the hair out because <laughs> it's all gonna get caught in. Yeah, <laughs> but, oh, like, yeah that yeah. would be so painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be horrible. Yeah, but for some of, of the figures, it's like look, they look, there's a rule of cool obviously yeah. in there as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, sometimes you've got to have that war between practicality and like what being a cool, cool mini, from a, yeah. a silhouette point of view. And yeah. also as a company, you want people to buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's agreed, some bits yeah. where I'm like, oh, that would be more realistic, but everyone would just go, oh, that's boring. Yeah, yeah. And there's definitely that as a struggle. Not so much now, because I'm more hardened, but in what people online say they want and what they'll actually yeah, buy yeah, yeah. is a whole other thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah there's like, oh, Very yeah, and you do it. Yeah. And they go, oh, it's crap mini, actually. Yeah. I'm just going to buy this... I, 
Boobs McGee from yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, cool, yeah. cool. We used to witness that a lot with um, when I worked at Workshop. Is you'd get a lot of noise on Facebook and, and the internet saying like, you know, where's my, where's my Eldar? Where's my Empress Children? Where's this faction? Where's that faction? When that faction finally gets released, it's not as this massive steep curve of like sales that yeah. you'd yeah. expect well, from all the noise. The problem is, it's yeah, it's it's a, a, man, a, a very noisy minority, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that's yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah. And like guess, it was just the other day we were talking about. We, in fact, me and Pat were. We were talking about them a little a while ago was Elysian Drop Troops. Yeah. Who were a really cool Empire, Imperial Guard range. And someone the other day went, why aren't they still making them? And I said, because Forge World can make a small number or an, or almost, or will make two order almost. And I said, if they were selling, they'd still be selling. Because Death Core yeah. Krieg yeah. are plastics. Yeah. For a reason. Yeah, because people yeah. like them. And yeah. then the thing is, and I was of agreement because the Elysians were one of the best looking Imperial Guard regiments. I thought, but... People will only, you can only keep making what people will buy. And, it, yeah. and as much as I love them and three other people really think they're cool, that we're yeah. not, four people is not, uh, not the most people to make a range for. Move away a little bit, but in, on defense of that side of it, yeah. they are quite expensive, so not many people will want to buy them. That's right. They are yeah, quite yeah. expensive, so they won't make them plastic because not many people are buying them because they're yeah. quite expensive. So there is that kind of like. Oh, absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, and it's the thing is, barrier. it's a shame they don't exist, but I completely understand why they don't exist any longer. Yeah. It's the levels but, of risk as well. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. And somewhere yeah. like GW, they don't want to do risk because yeah, <laughs> no, it's a PLC. Yeah, yeah. You know, Whereas maybe I don't if, want to do risk because everything's so tight. And, yeah, you know, it's like, your business. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I need to pay my rent. You know, it's a different struggle, but the same. Same thing, effectively. Well, Death Corps Creek, probably people want them just off the fact that they've got a constant, there's a new shovel-based meme every other day, but no one's doing Elysian Drop Troop memes and going, oh, well, these yeah. are obviously people yeah. in people's memory, yeah. you know, yeah. forefront yeah. of their, their thoughts Krieg. all the time. Krieg are in the zeitgeist, don't they? Yeah, absolutely right. And Elysians aren't. And, and, it's, and you know, going to what you say, it's exactly right, is that you can... People will scream for them, but then the people who reach for the wallet aren't exactly the same. Yeah. They're yeah. not the same people. Oh, there's sadly. the stuff in my own range that I found really sad. I'm now used to it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, of course. Uh, some of the range obviously sells really, really well. Other bits, there's some that have been absolute disasters mm. in terms of sales. I never say which ones they are. <laughs> it's that psychology of people going, oh, that hasn't sold. There must be a reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Just occasionally, some in, and it will, you know, has in the past, especially when I was all like young and naive and. I was like, oh, everyone wants this yeah, one. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, you know, pay hundreds of pounds and get it made. And then even like, say one guy that was really vocal, like, have you done it yet? Have you done it yet? Yeah, have you done it yet? You're like, it. hey, it's out. Hey, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you did the thing. Oh, uh, I've got to actually commit now. I'm so paying. yeah, some, somewhere people have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One, of, one of my rages is like, if you like one of my posts, that's a commitment to buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In my dictatorship, no, in my I mind mean, anyway. In a weird way, we get that with like YouTube videos. It's like people saying, yeah, I want to see like more of this, more of this. And you, you put like a video out and not you don't get as many yeah. views. So no. It's just like... That, just so, yeah. figuring out how much of those people online are the yeah. percentage. And yeah. also the whole thing of with negative comments it's like that's there was, yeah. all you know the negative comments are such a small percent but people a lot of time don't say when they really like something yeah exactly. that's why i'm always making an effort to be like this is great this is great yeah, the problem is with negative, have an algorithm you know, the, <laughs> the, problem with, the problem with negative comments are the ones you hear the loudest yeah yeah sadly. exactly yeah. And, and you're right it's like you know complaints in retail you, you hear complaints all the time rarely get a letter to say you did a really good yeah. job thank you very yeah. much and it's the same with like miniatures you i guess the sales figures tell you yeah, that yeah, you're doing all right. Actual, it's just you ignore the, the naysayers. I mean, just looking at um, whether we'll actually get some images on, on the chat show, I'm not sure if you, you can pull any up or not mm. from the website. Maybe. But um, <laughs> there's the uh, the dwarf uh, lady I'm looking at here, the shield maiden. N nearly said handmaiden again. I got that in my head. It's because <laughs> there's, there's vampires. There's vampires. Shield just female. Shield female maiden <laughs> lady woman. Lass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, PG, I, PG, I do feel you're being played. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm not rising to it. I'm good for <laughs> I made her two coffees and this is what I get. <laughs> exactly. You shouldn't have made me two coffees. <laughs> yeah. But I just think, yeah, looking at, like, you know, you've got like a bit of an incline into the waist and stuff like that. So you've, even from a distance, you can tell it's it's a Viking, but you can also tell it's a female and you can tell it's a dwarf because it's, you know, slight of stature and stuff like that. So you're definitely doing it right. Uh, I don't think it's silly. Uh, and you've got the cool badass looking yeah. fantasy vampire. I would say vampire warrior. It's not vampire warrior. It's vampire like hunter. Vampire hunter. That's all a truth. I was going to say, looking at these armor. from behind, I think like the, the, it looks like there's a civilian lady in like a green Oh yeah, so thing. she's a slinger. Uh -huh. So she's like yeah. the standout one that, that 
uh, looks sort of feminine, I guess. Yeah, but, yeah and, and then maybe in the in the light, the lighter one towards the back. But the others, I uh, wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, yeah. Which good. is hopefully good. Yeah, <laughs> and yes, there's a variety <laughs> of yeah people. People in the full-on standard uniforms. So like, there's a yeah. vampire queen there. It's obviously in a long it dress. Cool. And it, again, it's all about that variety that some are yeah, super femme and other ones aren't at all. And someone occasionally will be like, well, can I use this as a man? Like, mm. I don't care. Buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Just buy it. <laughs> I, I don't, well, I'm not going to be really angry. Like, oh no, you've, you've chosen this to represent a man. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that all those choices yeah. are there. So from a business point of view, um, when do you decide, like, I'm going to do Soviets? And when do you decide, like, I'm going to do a range of queens and stuff like that? <laughs> so it, when, when does that come out? Is that just, like, on a whim? Or do you do, um, have like... This year, I want to focus on heavily yeah. getting Soviets done. So part of, I kind of do a little bit of almost a sure thing where it's like, this will be a big project, mm. but, you know, statistically and going for all business plans and all that, it's going to be good. Yeah. And then in between, especially if things have gone well, so like after Salute, um, I've, oh, I've not told anyone, but I can tell you. Yeah, exclusive. tell us, tell us. So after Salute, I'm tell like, Tell us, oh, we won't tell anyone. Unless... It's only just, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's just, just us, us three. Yeah. So after <laughs> Salute, this is a bit sad. But I was like, oh yeah, I've got, got a bit of extra. And I don't tend to buy myself much. It's below what we we're saying earlier about having a hobby that is the job. And, mm. you know, so sometimes I'll buy myself a sculpt. Okay, so yeah, it's like, yeah. it's something that I'll add to the range. If it sells, it sells. But if not, I've got that cool mini out there and I just, it's a treat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's some yeah, of my treats, sense. but they're always the like nerdiest ones in there. <laughs> so after Salute, we're like, I'm going to get two figures of Princess Anne. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so cool though yeah, yeah. she looks so cool in the like the full military yeah, gear. Yeah, like yeah. i don't know what you'll use it for but we're, heck we're doing princess Anne. Yeah. there is a whole i don't know if you're aware of the genre imaginations no, no. no. i had no idea till i made one of my other treat miniatures with quite early on was catherine the great mm. and again i thought i don't know like who's gonna use catherine the great on horseback but i want to use it and then sold loads yeah. and that's how i found out about imaginations uh, just, just, it's kind of um i think there's different rule sets for it but it's generally just like alternative history mm. but as close to history but almost like yeah. parallel universe type uh, okay, things and yeah. that's a whole there's so many other worlds yeah. you know yeah yeah <laughs> especially yeah. when you've come from somewhere like warhammer and then I had my journey of just like, oh, look, there's World War II games. Oh, there's Dark Age games. And then it's like all the different scales. And um, so I'm sure people use stuff like imaginations and pulp and all that. Yeah. But yeah, stuff like the Russians, they get more of a actual plan yeah, <laughs> rather yeah. than just me going, wait, let's make this. I remember there was a company, I don't know if they're still going now, called Hinterland Miniatures. Yes. And, um, they're not going. They're not going. No, yeah, because they did a load of... live. <laughs> they, um, they were for sale. I'm not sure if anyone bought them. Oh yeah, this could be a plea. Look at talking to the camera. <laughs> well, so, well, you can were, look into the camera, but I need to edit to it. There you go. <laughs> so this this one is on you right now. Yeah. Oh lord. Do your um, children in need appeal? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Please, person, mysterious benefactor of loads of money. Um, no, I don't. I don't know what exactly is happening with Hinterland at the moment. But I wanted to, when I stocked miniatures, I wanted to stock them for ages, and they only sold direct. And then they were up for sale because the chap was stopping doing it. Mm. And of course, like that was the range that got me so excited at yeah, the start. Yeah. Like that is exactly what I want to be doing. And ironically now is, but I've not done that sort of era. Um, and that's how I found Alan Marsh, who's mm. one of my main sculptors, because he was doing a bit of work yeah. for them. Uh, and they were up for sale. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll send an email over. You never yeah. know. Um, and I never actually got a figure, but I sort of went through it and for what would be the absolute cheapest that I could imagine this going for. And I went, I can't, can I? So yeah. I kind of did start talking to them about it. Um, and then they said, oh, there's some other people interested, at which point I went, they're bigger boys with proper money. Yeah. But it hasn't appeared anywhere. So I don't uh, know if it's been sold or yeah. not. Because I, 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 um, But it would be way out of my budget. And buying ranges, so I've bought two ranges previously. Um Buying ranges is a huge risk if you haven't got spare money. Because mm. say uh, say it costs 50 grand to buy a range. Yeah. That range, depending how long it's been out there and, you know, how big the customer base is, has most of the people that would buy the thing bought the thing. Um, the cost of getting things, you know, remoulded and all that. Whereas if you had £50,000, I could do my own plastic. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, I could do exactly, something yeah. new. Uh, yep. So I've always been really cautious of that because you do, there's this whole, um, it's like four games black market. <laughs> of, you know, people sell ranges and sculpts all the time. Yeah. And I have bought the odd sculpts off people. Most of the time it's been either, 
unnoticed really before so it hasn't got the attention that it's deserved and i've been like oh that's yeah. uh or it's just something that's got a lot more life sort of left in it or something like that i think it's quite niche yeah and that was me like i'm actually not even gonna find out the number because yeah, the number's yeah. gonna be too high yeah if you don't know but what if in, anyone wants to buy me yes yeah, so <laughs> <it's, it's, it's, laughs> if you've never seen them they're, they're kind of like turn so of the century good. early so 20th good. century they, they kind of look like they're in hussar uniforms yeah got like big furry hats all oh, right um, and <clears> they, they wouldn't look odd in like a sort of late 19th century era world war one sort of era because yeah. there's some of like uh spickle helms so all right. it's very That's... like alt history there's yeah, a couple yeah. bits in there that are the, the basic but yeah it's yeah, all, all, all female, right okay yeah. again like, what if wasn't, sort wasn't of it designed off like one female sort of austrian yeah. lady um, did i say female i meant to say woman no no you can say I, I, oh god i don't know what <laughs> the rules are <laughs> <laughs> Peach. yeah as long as you're not being creepy yeah. i think that's good that's, that's good i think um, I, but yeah it's face off a photo isn't it and he just yeah, did this whole yeah. range of and um, they're really cool i um, wish most, i got some most of those are uh, sculpted by paul hicks who was awesome paul hicks amazing. yeah he did um, a oh yeah saw him in comments yeah, well. yeah. Like, in people's comments going ah oh, fancy seeing you here you're so <laughs> angling for it <laughs> yeah, yeah, paul in the hicks comments great. going hey you should have me on your show and yeah i'll see like other company chumps like ah you're here yeah. too <laughs> i'd love to get paul hicks on actually yeah it's definitely on, on the cards he, he made a little rifleman peach for me uh, so i painted him up so yeah he's gonna be next to sharp and teresa <laughs> i'll be i'll be there oh no i'm gonna turn into hakes well aren't i oh, no. he's got the same haircut and everything inevitable <sighs> <laughs> you know, I, love the, I love when you yeah. go we need to remedy this I love when you go to your existential crisis mid podcast it's always the best <laughs> yeah. Yeah. my blind panic in the middle of an interview see the soul leaving the body oh no oh no but yeah so I'm into that's, I, I thought yeah, that was still going so that's I, no, they, so it was a couple of years ago I think that yeah. they, they closed but yeah the, the people I kind of got rumour were yeah, interested yeah. I was like there is no way I could even outbid them so yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not going to stress about it because I was probably like I need Hinterland what can I sell what oh, can I sell to buy it but you can make your own but version yeah it's like if I to, wanted yeah. yeah if that whatever the, f- the fee would be it's like I need to do some more World War 2 and you yeah. know, add some new things so that's what stops me because I get a lot of uh, people going there's a range for sale like, yeah. nope but I've always get this like need <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I want it <laughs> so it's just like you know all encapsulate I'll take all of the things they'll all come under my empire <laughs> and it was kind of like oh, if anyone's to make her a crown they have to bow and everything <laughs> I was going to say I, I don't think if somebody's like because well you can see behind you all the crap that I've accumulated I, I could never be in that position where someone's like hey uh, do you want to buy this I'm like yep <laughs> I'd be bankrupt <laughs> instantly yeah there was a lot of self control especially on the sculpt bits where the so some of the areas, dark corners of the internet, um, sculptors will be selling sculpts mm. ready for you know reproduction, either if like their clients bailed on them or they've just sculpted it for fun. And, yeah, you know, yeah. it's not sculpted for a project. And there's some killers in that where I'll <laughs> see things and it was just totally not anything to do with Is my stuff. Is there a special sort of form you can go to to find Yeah, secret. This? Oh, secret. okay, secret yeah. special syndicate. <laughs> secret. I like it, I like Ooh. it. So some of the range, I don't think... Any- oh, yeah, that Landsnet. That yeah, was yeah. actually from there. Oh, uh, really? From Secret. Oh. Uh, that's by James Sheriff. And yeah, that was that's a perfect and, example. And that's a woman's skeleton, uh, right? No, it's a mum. Oh, is it? Oh, how can you tell by the hips? Exactly. Is it the hips fair, or the ribs? To be fair, it be <laughs> I decided. I've decided because I then got a um, a lady to go with it as a um, that era. And yeah, that's yeah. the... It's like bodyguard, like yeah, okay, bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, what am I going to do with an undead land snack? I was like, need it, I need yeah, it. Why not? Yeah, it's it just great. cool. Yeah. So some things I have kind of squished in, like yeah. uh, recently I got one called Turkey Man. <laughs> um, I was awake at like four o'clock because I couldn't sleep and I was on my phone and it's like, does anyone want to buy Turkey Man? I was like, yes! Don't know what I'll do with Turkey Man. <laughs> Turkey Man is in. It sounds... So there are some bits that just make no sense, yeah. but... The naming convention sounds hilarious. Yeah. After after watching the uh, like Suggs's video on all like the weird Warhammer models, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was oh, like, "This I'm is so, yeah. ostrich man, and yeah. this is horse horse. Yeah. Horse, horse, yeah, horse with an extra bit of horse." Yeah. Yeah. I saw Louise a few weeks ago, and she got ostrich man out, and I was like, "Oh, you're 
I yeah, love Turkey yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Ostrich Man before. Hey, great. Like, so oh. you've already had this conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, no, this, is, this is like his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I do wonder horse, what they were making when they did that. Oh, it's, it's Beastman <laughs> Rangers, I suppose. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. The, there was some weird, Beastman, yeah. probably some weird stuff going on. Yeah, there's you need re- to get Trish on the show. Oh yeah, well, I, about, I, we, like, we were going to, but um, she had she had to uh, go and see a friend up in Scotland, so we'll try and get back on. Um, I need to rebook with her actually. Um, but yes, Tris. Yeah, it'd be like, what was going on in those days? Yeah. What were you doing? I mean, it was a really good doing? piece of art, and I can't remember which uh, one of the Chaos books, one of the Realm of Chaos books, and it's when the um, old ones gate collapses and there's like humans and they're getting turned into beastmen but there's like some weird funky corruption they're not all like you know your your, your goat faced oh i've not uh, seen beast that oh, like, different oh, beast yeah really not all goat, yes. oh, okay so, so so and then you get the old realm of chaos books that have just got some funky looking yeah things in there uh, which is cool. shout out for a friends company uh mm. fenris games do a lot of things. oh yes fenris yeah. yeah they do a lot of uh different beasts because one of my favourite one is Slugman <laughs> and it, it's called something else but I was like Slugman um, but yeah they, they do some cool beasts because I wasn't aware of that when I, mm. I was like why are all these like yeah. oh it's the whole thing of, yeah because you think of Beastman yeah it's like donkey yeah, the whole donkeys table you can roll on for um, your, your uh, weird corruption and mutations excuse me no, I've got gas <laughs> as well as bleeding face <laughs> I don't know everything's going wrong with me today <laughs> Can't say words properly. I'm bleeding. Um, what, what, so I'm going to ask a question, and you oh. you don't you don't have to I don't have to answer it, or you might not have the exact um, one that you know of. But what would you say is your best range or your best figure? That's Soviets. Soviets. Really? Yeah, that's Soviets. interesting. Yeah. Um, I can see why. It's hard. Where I'm like, I can kind of get why GW just always doing Space Marines. Like, <laughs> I want to do some other World War yeah, Two. Yeah. Like, or more Soviet snipers. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like little little business elf, and then there's like Annie Elf or something so it's always that because they fit really well with a cobblestone yeah yeah uh, and cobblestone's yeah. one of my like superheroes of yeah sculpting. yeah yeah I've got loads of his so, stuff at the start that was kind of him and uh, Bob Merch uh, yes, pulp yeah, figures yeah. I was like that's the sort of stuff yeah, I want to do figures, like, yeah, like yeah. they're chunky but they're not yeah eight again because I, I, I'm always aware when I talk to you know if you've probably got more of a sort of warhammery audience and you say chunky and they immediately think they're like absolute crap you know <laughs> like, <laughs> no, 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 but yeah, yeah. Like they are these comedy a's so like chunk part of what i really like is that tactility of figures mm. which i do again don't like comparing to gw because it's like comparing to like dfs is that far <laughs> removed you know like, mm. um but sofas, as, yeah, yeah as, <laughs> as figures you know get more and more fabulous they're harder to paint, they're harder to transport. Yeah. And uh, something that I, <laughs> one of the reasons I do, I do like a lot of the old hammer, um, I like a lot of old ghouls. Collecting ghouls is my thing. Mm. So I've got as many ghouls that I think are out there. I was going to have a hobby. I was going to have a hobby. Oh, I love ghouls. Yeah, and uh, I do love those cheesy ones where they're kind of, yeah, just like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. hey, you hadn't quite mastered making figures that were more than entirely 2D at that point, had yeah. you? Um, but I like I like painting that stuff that just doesn't have, and I think definitely with digital sculpting, people get too tempted because you can zoom in and yeah. just add so much can, stuff, and they look great, and the renders look great, yeah, then, and then you go to bloke to me with Daughters of Cain, where it's like these are fabulous models, and I went, I can't, I'm just not enjoying it, yeah, and yeah. I like the chunks of metal and the Shield Maiden range. We did originally entirely redesign because at first they were in uh, resin because there was a resin caster near me, basically. So that's how we started off. But it was things like separate hands. And when we redesigned it for metal, so I want them as easy as possible. So like that's that's one of them there. So it's like all one piece, but still cool. Still a cool model. And I started noticing I was getting more newbies. So I was getting more uh, women, you know, partners that were then getting like, oh, I'm now interested. And and kids. And I thought, well, if these are first-time people... You don't want to be getting yeah. something that's got a ribbon trailing it you know, yeah, all over yeah, the yeah. place and it's just really daunting. So what I try and make with the mini is that if you're worried that you're not that good, you can pretty much whack some colour on it and a wash yeah. and they look good. Yeah. You know? yeah. And yeah, I've got such a rubbish attention span when I'm painting them all little bags Same. and little knives. I'm like, oh, I've got to get another paint out. Yeah, I, yeah. Just... Well, you've spoke about this, haven't you? Over detailed miniatures, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, for if it's rank and file, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a pointless. big book. I mean, like, yeah, say if someone's a display piece, yeah, or a yeah. big character, mm. big centerpiece. And it's like, yeah, I'm really going to you know, go to town on it. But when there's so many little bits and bobs, and, and then when they snap, yeah. I just think, oh, if I was a kid now, and it's like, yeah, because there's earlier stuff, you know, those chunky. Chunky bits, and they're like, "Oh, I'm actually 
disillusioned because you know that thing where you look at the box art and then you're yeah. like, I'm going to paint this and you know, it doesn't look like it. this is crap I'm not going to do this <laughs> <laughs> so I like to have that balance of that sort of old school chunky but you can take them you can take them around to places yeah. um, you can play with them and if they fall over the whole thing doesn't shatter everywhere and if you want to put loads of freehand and more details on then you can I'm a big fan of the One Piece metal figures. Always have been. Um, the only doubt oh, is when, like, I hate, like, dis- hate assembling well, one just, yeah, piece glue- metal. Even if it's like one arm. Metal, I mean, just- like with, with um, Crooked Dice, uh, most of them tend to be one piece. And every now and again, you get one that has like a hand that's separate or yeah. like an arm that's separate. And I can just about live yeah. with that. Um, but it's when it's like multi piece sort of like bits. You're just like, oh, life's too short. Just, just one of the first- multi piece metal dreadnoughts. Oh, 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 God. Even if it's like a slight character and you've got like part of an arm, a gun, and another arm there all separate, I'm just like, you not just like, yeah. done it closer yeah. to the chest, the chest yeah. made it all one thing sometimes yeah. because people go oh it has to be like that for casting sometimes it does and then I've got stuff like this which is one piece <laughs> I know it's resin yeah, but yeah, still but... I was like yeah there'd be people where that is in a lot of pieces and it's absolutely lovely is that like a caravan it's a merchant's caravan yeah, yeah. a little travel is that like caravan. one of the caravans you, you stopped look. in Hmm? Is that like no, 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 it wasn't as fancy <laughs> to be fair it was, this was a bit more mystical <laughs> uh, but yeah just as the casting has come that's so amazing far. for one piece though isn't yeah, it yeah, yeah. Um, and again it's just not fussiness to sort of have to deal with before mm. you get started and say get disillusioned with um, and that's a balance as well trying to get things dynamic but still not yeah I'd rather them lose slight dynamism for not having to glue a finger on. Because yeah. <laughs> like, there's somewhere it's like, oh, this like separate finger you have to glue. Don't get me started on the Bliss Barb Arches. Oh. The Bliss Barb Arches for the, the I was going to say, oh. haven't we talked about this <laughs> before? <laughs> yeah. There's a range of Sonesh rank and file, right? Uh, the beautiful models, I'd probably do them as like a war band for war cry and only ever have to do like yeah. eight or something like that. Uh, they've got all the sandals in the world, all the straps. So you've got like, skin and straps, skin and yeah, straps, yeah. skin and straps. Like, great, that's, that's, that's a nightmare. And there's one guy who, um, all the others have got like their hand, a bow, and they're, they're doing stuff with their hands. Some are like reaching for an arrow, some are like just like mid shot. There's one guy, he's, his forefinger, really finger. and his thumb <laughs> is separate. And I'm like, no one else in that set have, have to have that. And I lost the finger oh, no. somewhere on the floor, no. never found it. Well, got the old sock on the hoover trying to like find it. <laughs> Never did find it. Well, we've got a, you know, um, Dalak Ganga with body and head and separate neck. Yeah, <laughs> separate neck. We love separate neck. And you know, the best of it all is, is that they do alternative heads for them from Forge World and the head and the neck is all one thing. Yeah. They learned their lesson, obviously. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. So, tournament. Oh, you said before we went live, hey. you used to do a lot of gaming in tournaments. I did, and yeah. you've got this Ooh, beautiful red cow. My bale cow. A bale oh, cow. No, no, that's, that's a lamasu. Yeah, that's sh- a lamasu. Now it's a bale cow. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anyone's what not familiar with a lamasu, they're basically like weird, sort of bovine looking beast, something with beards. Uh, it's, uh, Chaos Dwarves had like wizards. the Taurus and then which Oh, and Chaos Dwarves like... aren't back in the... I didn't expect them to be back, to be fair. They're in not. that Old Worlds announcement. Oh. Well, Because no, they were always kind of Forge World anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, um, they were always a fringe thing. Yeah, even so I didn't they expect are. them back. I was like, oh, my oh, gnomes. Sad, so yeah, I, had to, I love my gnomes. They were quite they controversial. Cool. Yeah. There's probably viewers who were like, oh my goodness. So why gnomes. were they controversial? Explain why um, your army that you spent hours painting and looked really well converted. Did you see the rest of it? This is, is it because you've got like, pink on it? Is it because yeah. it's got... Oh, right, okay. So I think at cool. the start, there's, there's this whole thing, and um, I've been thinking about it recently, that when you're a woman gamer, there's a lot of pressure, and there probably was more then than now, but still a lot, that whatever you do, you're representing all women. And as soon as I started, people went, oh, women always play Wood Elves. And instead of like, if I want to <laughs> play Wood Elves, that was, that was a thing. <laughs> it was like, if I want to play now, like, if I want to play Wood Elves, I will play Wood Elves. But I had that not like of a girl's thing going on, which is mm. a whole thing that everyone goes through at some point. Where you're like, well, I'm not like that. I'm going to play something else. Yeah, yeah. And I started with uh, Undead, which was my one true love, which is what I'd started with as a kid. So I used to play with Undead. And then I wanted a different army. And I think I went like, I want the ungirliest army because I'm not like other girls. Uh, so I went, oh, get Kale's Doors. And then for some reason I went, I'm going to convert them to look really girly. Um, <laughs> That'll teach you. And, then, <laughs> <laughs> and by that point, I think um, I'd, 
I'd got pretty well, not, not pretty good. People watching again, like Annie, you never won anything. But shush, I had a very good understanding of the rules, just yeah, not how yeah. to put them into yeah, section same. to win. I know. But how to I was play really Walker, good. At, right? yeah, I'm very good at uh, teaching people how to yeah. play Walker. I can't play it for Toffee. <laughs> so I had a good handle on it. Um, so yeah, I went went for Chaos Dwarves because I, I by that point I'd had a bunch of people being a bit crappy and like mm. woman. So I wanted strangers that I was then matched with at a table to like see me, see that, see this yeah, army yeah, yeah. of pink and blue and think, uh, yep. Because I'd usually be around the middle tables. So it'd be, I'd get a lot of the, so all sort of middle tables were the worst because it's yeah. people that think they belong the further yeah, up yeah, 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 rather yeah. than like they're just happy at the bottom or they're like, oh crap, I'm at the top. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they'd know, see they know. had the girl basically on the middle tables and be like, yep. I'm going to bounce back up there. She's got some sort of cow thing. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> was, I had a really horrible Bentle list as well. But yeah, <laughs> I had the Kadai Destroyer, of course. Um, and yeah, it was just filth, but looked really fun. Yeah. And yeah, I was like, oh, I love horses. <laughs> <laughs> And they get so angry beating them on the middle table because that, that's kind of the, you know, say you're a couple games in, that's that I'm not going to get anywhere properly at the top. So I had all the excuses. Like, it was a dice. I'm like, no, it was my cow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my cow. Well, we're <laughs> so you see oh, the cow was yeah. again. Just, uh, yeah. get a photo of so it. So the cow was designed to lull people into a false sense the of whole security. Army. The, yeah. I got uh, converted all the catapults, the big flower catapults and stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> It My- was it was pretty much being a whole troll army, <laughs> but when when people talked about it on say stuff like bad dice, but like oh he's got this army and it's all toys, and it's like she shouldn't be allowed to bring this. It's all toys. Like, I spent ages on it, so yeah. I did all these like were showing how they were all converted because it just sounded like yeah I was just grabbing random toys playing film. So, um, like, I yeah. was aware of a tournament. I can't remember if it was Nova or Adepticon. They their rules were a little bit lax early days. And they was, oh, what is the name of, there's an eagle that's pulling part of a boat for the elves. I forget what it's called now. Um, it's for Age of Sigma. It was fantasy. And it was one of the um, ranges of elf stuff. So you got like an eagle on a Lothan sky boat, basically. So okay. carry it in the sky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and someone didn't want to pay for that. So they got some plastic swans, which were really bad. And <laughs> they opened, th- for, for each, they had three. So they had three plastic swans glued onto a base that wasn't even based with three cans of open tuna that wasn't properly washed out. No. With a random elf dropped into the can of tuna, and that was their swift chariot, I think. And it's like, you made effort. (laughs) And and it doesn't stink of fish. (laughs) (laughs) Rotten fish. This is just like Annie. No, it's not. It's open sculpted. So I remember hearing the stories about that chariot. It was just like... sculpting. They've got little little shoes on there. It's all being dressed up. Amazing. He's uh, climbing up, he's painting him. He's painting him red to hide him as a a Taurus. Isn't isn't there like a a picture on uh, Reddit or somewhere where somebody took like toy trucks and turned them into orc vehicles and everyone's like, this is amazing, this is the best thing ever. And that's sort of celebrated, I guess, for orcs, but yeah. perhaps not yeah. in and any me, other army. Yeah. Well, an if you can't celebrate a cow with its own detachable exactly. beard, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> 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 what a quote. Yeah, what, <laughs> what are the wings made of? I really like Latex. that. Latex. Is it? Yeah. Ah, nice. So they're a bit dusty and old now, so, but... I uh, poured the liquid latex over some cocktail sticks. Oh, <laughs> I had a really boring... It was one of the very few normal people jobs I'd had. and a really boring job at the time. So I was sat sketching it out at my desk. Nice, <laughs> nice. So I've had this great idea. That's what I'm going to do. That's really good. Really so good yeah, just poured and, like, like how you've got a, a cannon crew member with a big uh, ramrod. Yeah, it's, it's, like, like, it's like a big sponge on yeah. a stick. Yeah. Genius. Uh, Is that works, Helga Longplatz from... I don't know. She's not GW. Oh, uh, okay. Right. I can't remember what company she's from because it was back before I noticed that sort of thing. It was hmm. just on eBay. I think it might be something like Stonehaven, but I've never uh, double-checked. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, the reason she's got a very pale complexion is that was also that everything was... They were all kind of like undead because they were all chaos mm. But yeah, you glance and it's all pink and then you look a bit closer and all the eyes are bleeding on everything. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> dark yeah, issues here. It was, it was, yeah. major juxtapositions in that army, I'd, isn't it? I'd it really is. Of, I'd kind of already been like disillusioned by tournament scene. <laughs> and, just went, well, and I've got to say, but whenever uh, I think of tournament scenes, it makes me think of my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> Shout out to your basin as well. Uh, that is really nice. I really like all the different textures on there and stuff like that. So uh, good job. Uh, if I'd fought against that, well, like, I would have been angry that I got yeah. defeated by it, but also yeah. at the same time, 
uh, overawed. <laughs> uh, and I don't get angry when I uh, play I, games. I worked out, I did something like 50 tournaments in three years. Wow. All the best of three years. Were, like, and how many did you win? Bits. Okay. One, yeah, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Just, I'd probably not let be on I, like one. <laughs> I, do, I do have a massive trophy collection. Oh, mostly wow. flukes, to be fair. I do like initially send people like, check this out. And they're like, whoa. I like, no, yeah. just went to enough events yeah, yeah. where nobody had Chaos Dwarves. So yeah, it kind of came, came a running joke. They was like, oh, and Chaos Dwarves, Sani. And then I just would be like, wait. And then I just go, and it's a default. Well, no, don't mention it. Don't mention it. I did get a few painting ones. Yeah. There was nice. one there, the, I don't know, if, again, don't know if they still do the Bad Dice event, but they did like loads of little events inside a big one. So it was like a day event. And then you could you could play like one day, two day, three this day. This one in Derby. Yeah, yeah, this was yeah. one one of the last ones I went. Maybe Blood like two thousand. No. Yeah, Blood and Glory, yeah, yeah. like two thousand and fourteen or something. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I ended up with like a box of trophies that I've no idea how I got. There were just that many awards, <laughs> so I got some painting ones for that. And yeah, that'd then be on a podcast. We were going, oh, I had only one stuff for toys. <laughs> toys, it's been ages on them. And they yeah, get all the units. I'll have to get some pictures out. There. All my years in the hobby, all the painting really? I've ever done. I've had no painting awards. I've yeah, had no yeah. gaming awards. So you're, you're doing better than me. You have got to go. You got to get the army that no one else takes. That's to it. Get a yeah. Default trophy. <laughs> I got best sporting on my first event and on my last event. As oh, well. yeah, good. In the first event, they'd obviously gone, oh, that's a girl. And then everyone realised that I was horrible. To, well, not horrible to play. Really. But yeah. again, it's that, that's part of this thing where you're like, ah, she can't be very good. Or she, it'll like, people would expect me to let them cheat effectively. Yeah, Because it's yeah, like, I've, well, I've, you are I've, nice, I've... aren't you? Like, well, I am, but you're not cheating. <laughs> so then after that, I got never, never got in like the sports running yeah. or anything. Because it's like I was expected to be way more forgiving than the average person. When like I'm competitive, but it's, a fun. I was always like having a beer in the social was yeah. the main bit, wasn't there? Like Argh. it's interesting because I've done a few tournaments where I've just been pretty chilled. Yeah, but I still know the rules. Yeah, so I've done yeah. a few Lord of the Rings yeah, tournaments, yeah. and then when she starts saying how chilled you are, and they're like, oh, you know what? Yeah, you, 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 you fluffed up your dice roll on that mic point. Just re-roll it. I'm yeah, not bothered. Yeah. They're, they're suddenly that's like, oh, that's that's the floodgates open. I can just yeah. take yeah, the mic now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, 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 no. That no. was a one-off. Oh, yeah, they say like, I know oh, it's like an inch out, but we'll say it's in. I'm like, what? Your mega unit? I'm like, You've just said it's an inch out. <laughs> but then the last event was when I was really kind of getting a bit done with it, and that yeah. was when I took the llama suit. He's got a wizard hat as well. I couldn't find. <laughs> A little blue, blue tack on wizard hat, um, and I got my got a sports at that at least because it was the good. worst. Lama Sioux was so terrible. Yeah, it was like yeah, your cows, your cows are wizards. You got on a lady on top's a wizard, and you're like yeah, your cow can cast a spell and send itself into the void, just casting some crap, nice. but then like all your points are gone. So like, Lama Sioux, cast a really crap spell. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I am a cow. My army is dead now. I want to hear a cow <laughs> trying to cast a spell. That's, that's, my, that, that's the next thing I need to hear now. It has got to the point that I forgot what most of the Chaos Dwarf army is supposed to look like. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the cow. The Kadai is a big horse. But they never did make that model. So yeah. Yes. No, yeah, they don't see it as a horse. Yeah. I had all the little drunk dwarves in the base as well under it. Oh, yes, yeah. Like loads the, the of little dwarves. ducklings and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got to ask a question as well. Sorry, you look... No, 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 please do. No, no, no. So you've got some models of hamsters. You've got a hamster here. <laughs> it's what? a guinea pig. <gasps> guinea pig? Why did I say oh, hamster? God, God. <laughs> I know it's a guinea pig because I'm well aware because we talked about guinea pigs. I don't know why a hamster was in my head, but... You'll be calling a female hamster this... in a minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's acceptable. If there was more space in the room I'd pretend to flounce off at that but I would end up actually just that's why we've designed it we've designed it like this so, in, so interviewees can't flounce out yeah. you know what I think is going off is you've got a tombola of responses now. you're just making it up as you go along no that's the wrong way to say it yeah. so yeah guinea so why, why are the guinea pigs because like, obviously you, you've got guinea, pack, guinea pig pack two yeah, so that suggests it's number one the yeah, is there a pack three not yet. Oh, there will oh be. yet. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, it's really into guinea pigs. Aren't Good. They great. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> great. guinea pigs. Yes. Yes. Three guinea pigs. Three guinea yeah. pigs. What are their names? Dave, Karen, <laughs> and Carol. <laughs> Standard really? guinea pig names, yeah. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Karen and that's Carol. That's Dave on the packet there. Is it? Yeah. That's it. amazing. Yeah, that's Dave. Oh, Good amazing. Names. I love yeah. animals with human names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Dave. 
Hey Dave, you're yeah. right, Dave. And who's this? Oh, it's just a, one of my little fluff toys. I thought I'd just add to the yeah, yeah, I like the scenes. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we do, yeah, yeah, yeah we do. Uh, that's Baggy the Bag. Oh, Baggy the Bag. Um, he was the mascot for the dice. Oh yes, because yeah, you got the squidder. Then um, you got the bag. When I, yeah, when I moved into Bad Squiddo, I, I kind of didn't want to lose this little guy. Yeah. Um. So he kind of become a side mascot, but he's not been as noticed anymore. So far, I keep forgetting. Yeah, so my yeah. Facebook group's called Baggy's Cave. And I realise a lot of people have no idea why the group's called that. It's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to start getting Baggy out again. Uh, but yeah, guinea pigs. So we do guinea pig models yeah. because I love guinea pigs. And that was one at the start that people were like, why are you... I initially did them in, did them in resin for a shorter run because a few people were like, why are you wasting your money on this? Yeah. And then couldn't keep them in stock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, are yes. they all women? <laughs> you just say women. So I'm like, doing it to annoy you now. Do I troll? I don't know. Yeah, do, do, do. I don't I was know. You. I was trolling I you. Well, I'll sure. be nice sometimes. Um, so I, 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 I wondered down the line of uh, Bad Squidder games, would they be like slightly larger guinea pigs with yeah. swords and shields? Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah. I love that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Uh, so Badges I do quite a lot. Of, vibes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do quite a bunch of different guinea pig base things, and a lot of minis have guinea pigs snuck into them. Good. So yeah. one of my favourites. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, no. Yeah. On, the them, no. on the base. On the base. Yeah. On the base. We think we're going for Peachy. No felting on this so, show. <laughs> Sir, this is a family show. <laughs> I was, I, was one, getting, I was getting worried. I was the one watching it and going, take note of what not to say. I haven't heard that word in <laughs> so no, long. No, no. But I know it, the story behind it yeah. was like stuff of legend <laughs> that like, yeah. just used to go around every yeah. school. Yeah. 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 It's no. bad that we all kind of... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Other people are going, I'm just going to open a side tab. No! <laughs> Probably some American or some German watching this going, what's well, felching? Let me just, yeah. Is that like no, pegging? No, no, no. no, no, no play, play well, pegs today. <laughs> 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 Similar but different. So, so sorry, yeah, so uh, guinea pigs sorry, on figures. It's okay. Yes. It's just to stop myself because I all go terrible. And I've got a <laughs> reputation to upkeep, whereas you've lost all your. Yeah, I never had one. <laughs> never had one. We bent, we bent ours I'm, down early doors, yeah, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. I'm a delightful creature that loves guinea pigs. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, they do it. I snuck onto miniatures. Um, and one of my favourites, she's got two. She's got one that's sort of helping with the, the aiming at the top. Hmm. Um, and one who's sort of in a pocket getting the crossbow bolts out. Nice. Sort of like secret oh, cool. Things. But I've got like ancient guinea pig ruin terrain oh, and stuff. Oh, mega. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, they're just kind of everywhere. Capybaras, obviously. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, 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 as well as the, the lady lady things. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. do a bunch of animals. Try and do things that are a bit different as well. Because you know, I still do some of the standard you know, like wolves, but everyone kind of does it. So weirder things is it like your uh, signature now? doing more pets yeah so I've got like, little bunnies and keys and they go really well at shows because uh, mm. people go yeah a little I have that pet yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. be guessing oh that. here's a warrior there's version a, there's of there's a really fun artist oh, I say fun artist he does a lot of historical uh oil paintings his name he was, I don't think he's alive anymore it's called Terence Cuneo and he, he's done all these paintings there's like everything from like D-Day Vic, he does a lot of Victoria Cross winners uh, so just like this is the box. mouse man isn't it this is the mouse man yeah so every painting has a little mouse oh, yes. in it somewhere and there's one where I think it's called Knightsbridge the Battle of Knightsbridge which is somewhere in uh, Africa and there's a load of uh, Panzer fours coming across the horizon, and you've just got uh, like the Royal, um, the Royal Artillery, just like with a handful of twenty-five pounders, and they're there just pumping away. And I think most of them get annihilated. And there's just a teeny tiny little mouse with a twenty-five pounder. It's probably not even. Like a, <laughs> but I don't even know what the measurement will be. It'll be a gram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's like a to scale gun. It's, it's a really, really right. tiny mouse with a really, really tiny. Uh, yeah, yeah, because he, he did that the painting of um, H. Jones's and and. Uh, charge across the wherever it was in the Falkland Islands and yes yeah, a little yeah, mouse yeah. running in yeah, the same yeah. direction as him yeah, oh, yeah. so that's like his easter egg yeah that's yeah. his little tiny <laughs> little, <laughs> that's his so little signature thing yeah. very serious paintings but always with a mouse, a mouse yeah. In yeah. There. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere the mouse doing a thing being cheeky or just being a bit fun Interesting. Sassy in some places. I think it's like a British Sassar and he's just like like hands on his hips in the same outfit kind of thing. So he's, yeah. <laughs> so he's like like all the nurglings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got, yeah, yeah. You've oh, got yeah. sassy nurgling, you've yeah, got yeah. night nurgling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cannon nurgling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So on our we've got one of our figures is a, a capybara called Capy Cannon. Capy so it's got a cannon attached to the back of it. So it's part of the sci-fi range. And there's a little guinea pig with goggles on top of it. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Love it. Like, Capybaras are so chill though, aren't they? They're, so They're just so, so renowned just for just like being friends with everybody. What do they call them? What do they call them? Nature's couch, don't they? Because yeah. oh, lots of other things just sit on them. Have yeah. you ever seen the it's little cool. uh, TikTok video where there's a guy just like pinching one and it just like looks at like... 
It's just like, get away with his hands. <laughs> that's just like his reaction. Yeah, like, are, why are you touching me? They're awesome. They yeah. really are awesome. Yeah. There's a page I follow online that's like called guinea pigs through history. Guinea pigs, something like a, a pictorial history or something. And it, they do Guinea Pig Friday every Friday. It's the best day of the week. <laughs> and they'll show a different painting that's either featuring guinea pigs or has them in. But most of the painters had never seen a guinea pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, when they came to... Some guinea pig facts. When they came to the UK, it was never as food. Oh. Some people, obviously, they are eaten in yeah. parts as well. But in the UK, it was always just this like Elizabethan, Pest. I have so much money, I can look after this useless thing that offers me nothing in return, <laughs> just potatoing. <laughs> um, so they'd be putting loads of still lice, you know, like apples and all that. But yeah, loads of people have just never seen the guinea pig. So it's hilarious because so few of them actually feel like guinea pigs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it's like that, like, that thing of really people didn't seem to be able to, used to in the past, be able to seem to paint cats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The cat. oh, yeah. 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 cat yeah. looks sort of like a yeah. cross between a human, human and a face. Yeah. really bizarre I've seen inability. Like two memes where it's the horse and the cat. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> I've seen the horse one, yeah. which I think is on like a tapestry. Yes. And it's yeah. like, I've seen it and it looks like Picasso drew a horse. Yeah. It's really bizarre. Are, isn't it? People just didn't seem to. Again, cats are quite a common thing. Yeah, but people didn't yeah. Seem to be able to I guess them. then you'd be like, do you not have the interwebs? You yeah. know, yeah. My, my first interaction with a guinea pig, uh, I did one when I was very young. I had a, a rabbit called Buffy, and the guinea pig was called Nibbles because he had a nibble in his ear. Um, and he was the most aggressive, violent, sort of, I don't know, he was just everywhere. And everyone's like, oh, guinea pigs are pretty chill. My sister they're works well for the chill. RSPCA, and they're always like trying to you know, get people to adopt guinea pigs because they're, they're always chill. I was like, my first experience of a guinea pig was not that. It was like a <laughs> Berserker version. <laughs> he's just seen like wall paint on his face. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's, got a, he's got a nibble in his face, so he's obviously like, I'm going to fight that everything. Yeah. <laughs> so that's now you can figure out how you're going to put them into yeah. your, your army. I'm going to. Some, that's so cute. They're going to go into the sharp rifles. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be that skirmish line in front of the skirmish line. <laughs> you're like, right, I'm going to screen sharp with guinea pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So. I, uh, well, my housemate made some uh, some rules for some of the guinea pigs. We've been playing uh, Walking Dead, Romantic, because yep. we really like it. Um, so you can get that the blank cards. And yeah. he's done it's that for game. some of the guinea pigs. I really like yeah. it. Uh, so we've been playing that. And at first, because I took them as like, the base, basically the rules you made, they were like disposable chaff bombs and yeah. stuff of barely any points. But then I spent the game going, no, Dave! And they're all painted as my pigs. I'm like, I can't see. It was like, right. So the plan would be like, like send Dave over there, oh, get distracted, no. Ian. I'll go over there, get the objective. And I was like, oh, no, Dave. <laughs> no, no, bring him back. <laughs> oh, so you name, you name them after your own guinea pigs? Yeah. That's yeah, yeah nice. they're all oh, specifically like got a little rule depending on who the pig is. Yeah. So Dave, one of Dave's special rules is chonker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, oh, yeah. Oh Lord, he coming. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, that ratio of different cats. <laughs> yeah. He's the massive chonker. <laughs> That's good. Oh, um, wow. So uh, you don't have to explain it. Um, what kind of like things are you going to be looking at doing moving forwards for mm. Bad Squiddo? Have you got any Save thoughts? Snipers. <laughs> Save it snipers. Save it snipers. Nice. Loads of Save yeah. Snipers. That was the that was the joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. I know you've got uh, that the whole like stuff, oh that's yeah. the, the thing I like the definitely. scout ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, really yeah, nice. Love yeah, the yeah. outfit because um, they have like this Andrew. big baggy jumpsuit thing, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're the, really good. My brain now on the spot's like I know what that is, but I've forgot. Yeah, <laughs> not ghillie suit, definitely not. Yeah, it's like it's like a ghillie suit, isn't it? Yeah. All in one thing of me. Yeah, yeah. Those, as people watching, going like, ah, yeah. it's this. <laughs> um, so, World War Two, because uh, I, when I started, so it was like the Dark Ages. Um, you started in the Dark Ages? I started in the Dark I told you I'm a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Been around>. so <laughs> long. No wonder you nailed the English language. <laughs> and some of that stuff is like, like uh, historical. So, with the, the Shield Maiden range, I've made them so they are. Historically accurate, obviously to a point, yeah. um, but that they're very usable in fantasy games because yeah, it's, yeah. it is unlikely, very unlikely that there would have been mass armies of, of shield mains. But the idea of like the occasional woman fighting in most areas through history isn't that crazy. It would be weirder if they didn't. I think the Scythians had quite um, a lot, didn't they? That, again, there's a lot where it's like, oh, is it? oh, sort right. of disputed. That's yeah. something I haven't quite got to yet, but there's... It's when you see like different sources that are all really credible. One's yeah, like, yeah. no, nope. and the other one's definitely. I'm like, who do I believe? I, um, but I try to keep everything either plausible or absolutely. And as it gets more to modern, at some point I'm going to do more sort of pulp, but I'm going to make sure they're labelled pulp. Yeah. Because um, I do get a lot of people going, well, these aren't accurate. This didn't happen. This yeah, is like all fair. of the figures yeah. I make could happen. Yeah. So even I've got some of the... Uh, 
a like British ATS um, with rifles for World War Two. Yeah, and yeah, they weren't <laughs> they weren't there fighting, but they trained with rifles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so a lot of people use them for stuff like Operation Sea Lion. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Germany never invaded the UK yeah. in World War Two, but if it did, that's the sort of scenario yeah. well, you play well, out. And that they were trained for and that. Second, and the Second World War, um, Second World War female pilots because they oh, used yeah, to so yeah. they used to move all of the um, the, the pl- after the planes were built, yeah, they had yeah. to be flown yeah. to where they were going to be yeah, used. Because yeah. they weren't allowed to shoot because they're ladies. Yeah, yeah. So they're having to do this while getting shot at from yeah. the Germans. Yeah. <laughs> and just be like, oh no, I can't shoot back. Oh wow. That's not very really ladylike. I had no it's idea. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that was yeah, one of my, my favourite quotes ever from yeah. uh, tournament. Uh, I went, it was some guy, uh, I, don't know, I can't remember his face or name, so hopefully he's not, I oh, know, maybe he's, he probably forgot. The thing is, loads of times <laughs> people have wronged me and I've remembered forever. They've just forgot like yeah. five minutes later. <laughs> but, no, how about that? It was one of you, <laughs> you wronged me. Hi, Annie, how's it going? <laughs> and then, yeah, there was a guy uh, I was playing at an event and he spent a lot of the army, uh, a lot of the army, a lot of the game uh, hiding. He had a, I can't remember the term so much now. It was like an orc war boss or something on a wyvern, something uh, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. with all the points. And he kept sort of hiding it behind stuff. And at the end, he'd got it down to one point and he'd hit it behind a um, behind a hill. Um, obviously, you know, conserving all the points at the end. And it was that like, oh, I was one, mm. one wound away from getting it. And then did a kind of like, oh, yeah, I could just like shoot it in that gap. And then if I get really lucky on the, what's it, the scatter. Thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. I could yeah. still kill it. I could do that, couldn't I? I was like, yeah, I could do that. And then you, like, you could, but it it wouldn't be very ladylike of you. In like a oh. really serious, really oh. serious. I'm like, what? It's like it's so manly that you're I mean, hiding the sky behind the hill. You should have like chucked that back and be like, you could like, charge that, you know, but it wouldn't be very gentleman like yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, well, I'm not, so I'm going to yeah. do that. So what, bizarre. What but yeah, it's not very ladylike no. to play the game. That's what I mean about the like not getting yeah. sports for like, oh, we expected her to just be like, <laughs> look, the thing. <laughs> like, no, I do want to play properly. <laughs> I mean, talk, talk, going back to the um, the ATS with the the rifles. Stuff, yeah. So I've watched a few of the the games night shows. The Yogs cast do like games night, and they've done like a Dad's Army show, where, yeah. Um, um, Battle Report, where it's you know protecting Churchill from yeah, like yeah. German paratroopers. That's, that's fun. So there's there's plenty of times where people are just going to do. Let's just do a cool scenario where I don't know some German paratroopers are trying to you know kidnap the Queen. Yeah, well, yeah, the, oh, queen, yeah. the princess. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, well, just, the yeah like, Princess Elizabeth. You someone's know, landed, as yeah. did happen a lot. So I've got things like some housewives with various like, improvised tools. Yeah, things yeah. they've kind of found around the house that have gone <laughs> off to inspect and see what's going on and and all that. And when I when I started looking into this, part of me was like, am I? Uh, so not, not shoehorning, but kind of like. People will go, oh, you're trying to make things fit your narrative. And I was only aware of a few bits. And then obviously as I got into the rabbit hole, there is so much. And it is across across time, across time and space. Yeah. And obviously it changes. So sometimes and some places, they're really cool about women being up front and and in there. And then other times they're all just really wanting to go and like sneaking in. Yeah, yeah. So it does vary depending on so I do will tend to do more of the places where there's more that you could put in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, having like a, a whole army of of my women snipers, snipers, uh, women Soviets isn't hundred percent accurate, but it's that whole if that's what yeah. you want to play. Yeah. But all of the units that I do are all positions that they had. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Which, yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, well, it's not true. Yeah. Like, no, don't worry. I did research for a year and yeah. various, including all this Russian language stuff. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to remember which Call of Duty it was. They, they had the female Tommy at the front. Uh, and there was like a big uproar about like, yeah, it's historically inac- inaccurate. And, you know, I could see two sides of the argument where it's like, well, you should be represent- representative. So everyone feels like they can engage. Yeah, in the game. yeah but I get that you shouldn't what, change what, things. Yeah. So in my head, it was like, well, you're a Tommy with with like a prosthetic arm, which I don't think would have ha- yeah. happened in that era. But I could be and wrong. Also Correct your, me in your the call comments. Of duty. Yeah, it's Call <laughs> yeah. of Duty as well. But oh, yeah. <laughs> don't get me started. But, but, but the thing that I, I found really fascinating was that, but there were so many other things you could have done. You yeah. could have done SE agent. You could have done like French partisans. Yeah, partisans. Yeah. You could have done Russian sniper as your as your cover yeah. image, and you chose not to do any of those and did something that didn't really exist. Whereas you've gone down the route of like, well, I'm doing stuff that does exist. Yeah. So you can use it if you want to. That, that's and yeah, you can move, use right? things as other bits. Yeah. It's something I've been talking about recently with um, 
so I'm doing one of the projects I do is called community the community miniatures project mm. where uh, you kind of vote it's like an ongoing thing where you vote for who you want and it means that I get to do people that might not have been financially viable to just release one single figure from one random period of time or whatever it's like cool but I don't know what we do with it so we kind of do a lot of polling beforehand and we, like people chuck in a fiver and we're like cool we'll make this with the idea being that some of them that I might do is going to then start that cog in my brain. It's like, let's do more of those, yeah, you know? It's yeah. like, so people get to have a say in stuff that, yeah, would, would be more effort to, to just do, whereas a range, it's like that amount of information and research goes into loads of figures and yeah. therefore financially viable. Yeah, uh, and I've had a few where people have been a bit disappointed about how the figures turned out. But I've looked as I've looked into them, you know, it'll be a figure that's like, oh, it'd been really cool if she's got a sword and a shield and she's fighting. Like, there was no record of her fighting. Yeah. She was more, like, this is just generic yeah. make, make number one, but it would be someone that's like, um, yes, yeah, so they weren't recorded fighting. They were more of a, a what's the word, like, figurehead type thing. Yeah. But they did do a lot of other really cool stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to make her fight because there are other people from that period that were fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd rather, rather than make them, and sometimes, yeah, they'll be a little bit like, okay, that might have been a myth, but we'll do it because it's cool. Mm. But there's enough people that you don't need to change the yeah. thing. Yeah. So yeah, like well, World War Two, British uh, women aren't allowed guns, but the SOE are yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's somehow it's like well, it's spy stuff, yeah, so it's yeah. fine. I mean, but otherwise, not even the both. I do a Bofors miniature, which is one of my absolute uh, nice, yeah. favorites. Uh, Rob McFarlane of also GW. Yes, and, yeah, I know um, Rob, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's ace. He's he did that. Oh, I love it so much. That like, anytime I see a Bofors in the world. I'm like, yeah. yeah I used right. to like it on um, uh, Company of Heroes when I could get a Boffers. <laughs> Boffers, Boffers, I always say Boffers, yeah, no, I'm not I sure if that's... I don't know. Uh, I make Boffers as far up. as I yeah, was sure. So, um, it's because I say Bofo quite a lot. But, a, a great um, example of what you're saying there is like if someone wanted to do Steve. Elizabeth the First, yes. uh, I think it's Elizabeth the Golden Age, wherever it actually happened, yeah. she turns up we're in like full plate armour. Looks yeah. mega. Yeah. Especially Kate Blanchett in full plate yeah, armour. Yeah, looks yeah. mega. But she never recorded Yeah, fighting, she wasn't there. Like, yeah, it was more sword, of the... Um, she, yeah, yeah. Was, more yeah. of the like, yeah, figurehead, which yeah. is a lot of it. Just yeah. do the inspiration. Everyone's like, whoa, you look really cool. I'm going to fight for you. Yeah. Um, I do actually do that figure, but not based on that film. Yeah. I've got, again, in my nerdy... Uh, based more on the how is it Helen Mirren, yeah, yeah. Helen Mirren one, but she the main thing was that she got the breastplate, yeah, um, and yeah, I've got it as literally the Tilbury speech miniature, <laughs> and, oh, yeah, nice, and yeah. yeah, she's side saddle, but yeah, it's still there, yeah. being like, and that's it a, makes makes for a cool figure, yeah, absolutely. But like with the bofers, so the women weren't allowed to shoot, but they could do everything else. Cool. Um, so being mega nerd again, I've put it so that you have both figures in there as the gunners yeah so that would have been a man gunner there's no way to be a woman gunner so yeah. not happening but i've put women figures in anyway because yeah. i'm like <laughs> you can you yeah. can yeah just have both if yeah. you want that because it looks That's cool a, yeah. Yeah. doesn't always have to be but i just like again probably overthink things to be like well, well if you want to do historical it's this if you want it to be cool it's this it's whatever you There's want. a lot of alternate World War Two games out there, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I, could, I still those, couldn't bring myself so to, to not have yeah, the men in there because it's so like... Let's take the alternate where uh, on uh, Dunkirk they didn't get rescued and they all got put in prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's going to defend the country then? It's going to be the ladies yeah. on the yeah, yeah. on the bofers, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, absolutely. I think d being able to have that choice is really, really yeah. good fun. So you could do those cool scenarios or play yeah. like a very yeah, well, it's very English civil war. It's called, which is like prior to World War Two, where it's like you know you got all these different political parties rising up and oh, yeah, fighting. Oh yeah, I want to do some of that. It's yeah, because that just from looks the like start, good fun. Like, oh, well, isn't to... that based in the reality that we at one point in time it yeah. looked like we were yeah. going to have yeah. a revolution, which is the reason is the original. reason reason why we still why we are in america and we don't all have firearms to stay was because we, there was the fear that the working class man was going to have an uprising using guns that were floating around from post-world war one and it's one of the reasons why the that the, you know we haven't all got a pistol in our pocket just get the sun well, well, we're not really we're not now. supposed to have a yeah, pistol. yeah well yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. go yes. on say female yeah. again go on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. no <laughs> it just cuts to features <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> isn't that me where it's the guy just constantly sweating <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah for, for upcoming sort of stuff uh, there's a quite a few projects the, the German the Germans keep getting pushed back uh, I want to do some Germans I've been researching the heck out of that that's mm. uh, 
again, those sort of projects take me longer because I want to really get into it. Yeah. Whereas the, the last Kickstarter we did was for, um, it was My Last Sunrise 2, which was just an addition to our gothic horror, which I always feel like I'm flippant with. And I go, ah, oh, that's just some of the fantasy yeah, stuff. Yeah. So I know it's a relief because I, <laughs> I don't have to get really stuck into stuff and no one will go, is that gun on the wrong side? Which doesn't irritate me for the way you'd think. It's where I go, oh, I've put the gun on the wrong side. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like to make them as yeah, accurate as fair, possible. Yeah, yeah. But they are, so it's a lot, lot heavier sort of work. Mm. So I do sort of flip between that and some of the fantasy. Uh, but my absolute heart is really in the historical miniatures. It's just sometimes it's harder because there's, there's less younger people playing historical um, and I think it's important when there's companies that do those like really easy to get into games. And then that's it, talking about the historics. It's people not being afraid to do it wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's despite me going, <laughs> like, yeah. no, you should be able to just have a have fun with yeah, it. Yeah. You play that period and what you think looks cool. And it's up to you whether you're just basically using those figures and playing fantasy yeah. or if you're full on reenacting Waterloo. Yeah. There's, there should be something for everyone there. And I'm part of trying to get, <laughs> trying to make historicals cool again. Yeah. They were never cool. <laughs> they <will laughs> They've always be. been cool. I've always loved be. them. <laughs> but I, um, weirdly, before I got into this, I had pretty much no interest in World War II. Mm. Well, um, now it's changed. I was reading a book and it said something about Soviet snipers. I'm like, that's cool. And then went down the rabbit hole. And yeah. now I'm just like, wherever I go, I'm like, yeah. is there a World War II museum? Yeah, World II? yeah. And by having, and I think that's quite interesting that by having that representation, I got more interested, which also sounds like I didn't care about the, <laughs> the war when it was just men. But it's that bit where you can have more of a connection. Yeah, yeah. No. And, and weirdly, because I started off the Soviets, like, well, how would you have a connection? It's a whole other army, but it's the experience of women in war with little bits of information. I was like, oh, that is, that's grim. And somehow that sort of like started the whole thing. Yeah. And then, yeah. so I'm trying to, and I've had more people say that, like, oh, you know, we can get more more women into it via that sort of connection. And it does get it out of the hole. It's all a blokes, blokes thing. I mean, that was one of your um, things that you put on your website as well, isn't it? That where you, because you were young, there wasn't that choice. Whereas now you're given that choice for people to, to have. If, yeah. Um, so when they're starting young as a, as a, a young last one to get in the hobby, you, you can, buy and paint what you want and yeah you don't yeah, have to the, be forced down this route and stuff which is which is nice and um very you know it's, it's it's kudos to you for doing it um and as a as a as a male uh man <laughs> as a male person, man lad, guy dude <laughs> as, as, a, as a fleshy meat bag as a meat bag <laughs> yeah as a bleeding <laughs> As generic sort of egg-shaped coconut meat bag. Uh, I, 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 I like painting males as much as I like painting females. And uh, I have no qualms. I've never really been sort of... When I've done historical armies, I've done it because I want to get into that vibe. But the whole reason I started my Napoleonics was because of Sharp. Not yeah. because yeah, of yeah. wanting to go down the route of like, I really want to make the defensive Hugemon yeah, and yeah. do like the cold stream guys. No, I want to do sharp. That's the thing that's got yeah. you interested. And um, just randomly, you know, you're talking about like the female sniper was a thing for you. Um, when I got into Star Wars Legion, I was not really interested in Star Wars Legion to start off with. And the clones were just like, they're all a bit bland and I'm not really interested in them. And then I saw, I, I remember, oh, there's those cool camo ones from uh, Kashyyyk. I really like those. Well, maybe I'll paint one up like that. And I just got really into it. And ever since then, I've now been doing ones in white armour with like the 501st markings and all of the sorts of markings. So sometimes it just takes like a thing to get you interested by, and then you kind of get a love for it. Yeah, yeah. And then, then it all sort of spirals. Yeah, before absolutely. Before GW were saying that Warhammer's for everyone. Yeah. Stole it from me. Yeah, oh, yeah did they, they, they did. Dead, they were they. like, oh, yeah. They oh, actually, that. be careful. They'll be like, at my door before I get back. <laughs> 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 Those allegations. Um, one of my little taglines is making figures for everyone. Yeah, yeah. And it's on the same sort of basis, but it's also a, one of the struggles that I get is people going, oh, they're girl minis for girls, basically. Like, no, it's, it's for everyone. everyone. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not like women can only play with women miniatures either. Well, people it's like, they're for everyone. That's people the whole wouldn't point. Ne people would never dream of saying they're boy figures for boys. Yeah, they, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know. <laughs> so I do, and it's that's sometimes difficult because when you see it live, like when I'm at a trade show, and I've seen people before sort of had their kid look over and they go, oh, no, that's for the girls. I'm like, no. And it's this weird, like, 
you know, action men, good, manly, Barbie. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, they're all just figures. That's the yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. I used to um, often do house raids of my uh, action yeah. figures into my sister's Barbie house. Uh, and I just sit down and make a cup of tea. Uh, I'm the <laughs> youngest of five, uh, of four brothers. <laughs> yeah. So my Barbies were always going on dates with Darth Vader and stuff like that. So <laughs> Classic. That was really really like, yeah. Yeah. My wife had cooked that meat yeah. <laughs> my, wife had, mums, um, mums my wife had Cindy being the English oh, version oh, yeah, yeah. of Barbie. Yeah. And, um, and Cindy uh, often would go on uh, dates with her brother's action man, as yeah. my wife always used to refer to it as Cindy liked a bit of rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Bombshell. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. She married so, a soldier, so it obviously all yeah, just yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I might marry Darth Vader. Yeah, marry Darth Vader. Yeah. Yeah, well, he you could know. buy he could buy me the hinterland. Right? I would imagine, he yeah. I would imagine he's got like, to, I would imagine he's got to spare Ethical imperial sauce. credit. Does, does he even need to buy? He could just use the force. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> give it to Annie. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to be at UK Games Expo I like am, we are at the weekend. I am. You got to come over see the. Yes. Because yeah, I tried. I tried. Uh, salute. Salute, yeah, there was a was... bunch of you. They were just like out of reach. <laughs> and each time I was like, "Oh, I'll go show them my stuff." They're yeah. like, "Oh no, oh no, I'm busy selling things." Which oh, is I think exactly, we're on our way yeah. to get a cup of tea, and then uh, Hattie and Louise got distracted yes. by colouring in. We had the colouring mm. in. Uh, that's just Hattie and uh, Louisa. It's pretty crayons and like yeah. pictures of because it was Louisa's. <laughs> some Louis, of it was yeah. yeah, yeah Louisa put some art on there as yeah. well. So, so I was like, come on, I want my cup of tea. Come yeah, on, come like, on. Show me, show yeah, it was a it was a busy day, but yeah, I'm sure um, we're going to be looking. Uh, we're going to be at Wayland for a couple of hours. We're going to be at uh, Element Games for a bit as well, aren't we? So we'll try and yeah. make a way. I've got an sailor. island. So. You got an island. Yeah. Oh an island nice um, yeah you have to come because I've spent so much money <laughs> yesterday I was like oh I spent several thousand attending this show before I've done anything yeah. um, but sure you'll get it all back yeah what you have to do basically because um, some people are like oh I could go have a six foot like, there is no point if you're going to be there and spending and spending your hotel to have a small stand so many people just bypass it because yeah, everyone tiny, there yeah. is enormous so even my stand yeah. which I now when I'm looking at it on the map just feels like it's tiny yeah like this is the biggest stand I've ever had and yeah the price is like <gasps> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's yeah, they are it's, they are expensive I remember yeah. looking, looking some at like the uh, national wedding fair in the NEC and that was yeah several thousand pounds yeah. for a weekend yeah. <laughs> which is wild yeah. that the nearest comparison is salute which is expensive but it's not on that mm. scale no um, and I obviously with the hotel sort of adding in uh, but yeah. yeah we will be there we'll have the balloon arch um, cool the yeah the I'll fabled. bring my pin love the balloon yeah. arch <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it <laughs> just what, peachy every time you pop a balloon she's like females females <laughs> <laughs> so and there was a video of after it's through ignorance not through like being uh, anything other than no. just, <laughs> like, like, I'm, I'm right there with you man like, I'm just an idiot I, don't judge me yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you. We, we have some uh, Patreon questions oh. Uh, oh. if you can okay. to, uh, to answer a few yeah. um, I put it out don't on, be worried on the they're uh, generally a lovely bunch on the, on why the, are you such a <laughs> oh be worried be worried <laughs> no uh, so somebody said ah I love bad squiddo hey, stuff yeah. uh, much needed in the hobby space um, some of this I think we've already discussed so what made your transition from dice bags to miniature production which injury. was ex- <laughs> yeah. the, injury that's a good one way yeah. to answer yeah. <laughs> the extreme sport of crochet, crochet yeah. Yeah. extreme sport I love it um, nice. Did you have to learn about casting, etc., from scratch, or did you already have an idea of what the process was like? Yeah, that is a good question. Um, I had to learn as I went along, and that's something that I've been uh, quite keen to a point anyway. Of this, like when I was saying before, how how do you do it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so one of the things I haven't done any like permanent things like my videos, but. I do a weekly show and quite often we'll talk about like the, the background of just how things are made and how things work and people seem to find that interesting. But yeah, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea yeah. um, of anything, like how much anything costs, how long it takes. Um, uh, but I was lucky enough to be near a caster. So when I set up, I had well, my Dice Bag Lady office was in the back of Firestorm Games in Cardiff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And they had model display products there, who's a resin caster. And so I kind of got to see how the first miniatures <laughs> the first miniatures were made and see that process 
Um, and then as I went on, um, I've went through a variety of casters. <laughs> um, lots of casters in the industry um, of resin and metal. Um, I've had different problem with pretty much all of them. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But... In, the, in one of those like positive spin, I've learned every way to not cast a miniature. Cool. And I found all the ways that you didn't think a miniature could go wrong and <laughs> has. Um, so weirdly through that process, I'm glad that I understand it. The casters we've had for the last like six years are absolutely amazing. Mm. Um, awesome. And they were pretty much talk through it all. Yeah. Um, so you don't need to know, but it's really handy, especially yeah. when you know, I'm managing the sculptors so I get to see that be able to say to them like that ain't gonna make it in the mold or yeah, yeah and for fair. a lot of time my casters i'll look at so i haven't got any of there specifically well pre- maybe that caravan mm. where i've kind of received it from the sculptor and been like okay all right yeah, uh, yeah. where are we gonna do this and yeah the cast just gone yeah no worries I'm like, whoa you want magicians <laughs> uh, but yeah there's and there's no you know so I want to make miniatures you know sort of google yeah. and all the resources mm. are there so it's it is a bit of a horrible learning curve mm. yeah um similar this was a an add-on question how do you choose which sculptor is going to work on which project that is also a good question <laughs> yeah. um that's similar with the casters that there are because everyone pretty much is freelance mm. um so you'll get sculptors that work across different companies the same way that casters will tend to cast for various companies okay, yeah yeah um and painters. <laughs> so a lot of the time when I'm trying to get hold of one of my painters and I'm like, they've got a deadline and then I see their pa- like, damn it, <laughs> they're painting for you now. It's usually North Star. I'm like, yes, North Star, give yeah, me my yeah. painters back. I only, want, <laughs> I only want a couple of things painted. You've got a whole load there. Um, so there is <laughs> this sort of like sharing around. Yeah. Um, with me, I think I mentioned earlier about Alan, I just saw him basically on somebody's uh, somebody else's stuff and went, that guy, I need that guy. But I've been quite lucky that Alan and Shane are my main main people. Uh, Ristol, who does pretty much all the terrain, they're all ace. But it's the same as if anyone sort of hired a commission painter mm. that, you know, it can be a whole world of pain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got They've got to be able to cast to go in a mould, uh, sculpt to go in a mould. So some of the newer ones might come up with some cool stuff, but they need to learn how to make it not disintegrate and die mm. in the mould, which I had in the early days. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially when you're working with such a low amount of money yeah, and you yeah. spend all this money and then you get the message, it's like, it's died in the mould. So having that sort of team of casters and sculptors that can communicate. So sometimes I'll just say like, don't middleman me, just you guys <laughs> you do it because you need to be able to communicate this. Yeah. Um, and yeah, obviously the skill, the material, how long it takes them to actually do it, <laughs> how many pieces they do it. And, and something I really like with Alan, who does uh, pretty much all the historicals with me, is he's just as interested in it as I am, mm. yeah. which has just worked out so well. And he's doing the community figures. And the fact that I kind of just phone him and then we nerd about who the people are. Yeah. And because he's got a really long backstory of sculpting historical characters, he's got it you know like yeah. the costume and so some bits on what i do really crappy sketches for him which are getting better actually now that people have started seeing them they were so <laughs> terrible because like that's all the sculptor needs to know yeah um but now with the community minis project people are seeing them they're like but that finger's really long like yeah but he's not going to sculpt it as i've drawn exactly it, so, yeah. drawn it yeah. <laughs> you're like i've done it straight to order with some like long yeah. t finger um so having that sort of um yeah that communication and being on that same level is just amazing yeah so yeah the idea of getting extra sculptors now i'm like oh it's to be scary occasionally get some guests in but yeah. but yeah. usually if they've got a good rep yeah and yeah and that's like that's something that's important i think because it's such a small industry that if someone screws you over you know like doesn't deliver or yeah. it's rubbish yeah you, and sometimes if i'd see someone new i might message people that i've seen their work on and go what's the scoop on such and such <laughs> yeah and yeah sometimes it'd be like they're great but they do take about two years longer than you want oh, wow. <laughs> you know yeah. there'll be stuff like that so yeah. it's it is kind of nice that that there are different companies that can communicate that as well yeah. rather yeah. than just being like it's all secrets yes yeah, yeah. you want yeah. some transparency with that, yeah you know? uh wonderful next question says this is also my bought uh, some of her uh woman head sculpts and they were ace do you th- question, do you think the market is becoming oversaturated with small bits manufacturers? And do you distinguish your pro- and how do you distinguish 
your products from others. Apologies if this is too existential. It's just that I am really interested. <laughs> Small bits, you mean like accessories and yeah, yeah I guess um, like spare heads. Yeah, and, yeah and that potentially, kind of but no, not really. Um, there's obviously a lot more. I think that would be more of a discussion for into the um, like the STL market. Yeah, that would yeah. be. Um, I think if I focused on bits, I'd feel threatened by the STL market yeah. because yeah. that's a small little yeah small little bit that you can print off. Whereas I think with mine, because it is one of my existential crises that I'm old. Well, not me. <laughs> like my ways are old because I'm really into hands. They're all hand sculpted, mm. apart from a few bits. Yeah. So like the bits, some of the bits that Rob's done, which just tends to be like guns and machinery sort of thing, because it does. It is a lot easier. Mm. Um, but I'm really into that hand sculpted, hand cast thing, and that's what I'm really about. And occasionally when I you know, see all this super crazy SDL things where you've got, you know, the eyelids. And <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, I have eyelids. That was a bad thing. I do have eyelids. <laughs> yeah, eyelashes, eyelashes. Yeah. Um, and think, oh no, how can I keep up with this? And like, it's, it's just different. Yeah. And some people do want that super realism and others want that tactile sort of holding your hand. Mm. And I think, you know, some people are really into their printing and other people just want the figure. Yeah. And especially if, you know, the people that have given printing a bit of a go and went, this isn't as easy as I thought, actually. Yeah. <laughs> just just want the figure ready to go. Um so yeah, I'm not I'm not too fussed about that sort of bits bitsy yeah. market. I, I also means... feel like he possibly didn't buy my head, so there was heads that I used to stock, but <laughs> that's okay. That was partly because I used to stock a lot of different companies. Uh, and one of the reasons yeah. that I stopped is because people were getting confused over what was mine, what wasn't. Makes sense. Or not knowing that I even manufactured. So I was trying to push yeah. my stuff yeah. and they didn't realise. So so once I realised, one day I think I just went, oh, I'm just going to look into my data. So I'm not counts, like all my stats and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't need them anymore. <laughs> yeah. Freedom. That's a lot. Of, <laughs> it was so much work managing yeah, that. But, yeah. All these different ranges. I had a lot of different suppliers and I, they've all obviously got minimum orders, but if I'm only wanting one or two oh, figures yeah, off them, of course, yeah. Yeah. that was either just a pain or having to just keep loads of stock. So I do look back on me of, me of then. Yeah. Going like, how did I do that? Yeah. But that did enable me to build it up. And it got me loads of really good relationships with existing companies because yeah. I was stopping yeah. them. But yeah, you got to start um, somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah, and I think I learned about how to be a good retailer as well because I was being a, re uh, a good supplier because I was being a retailer and some of them would be ace and others are just like, Bit treat me like crap. We're like, <laughs> we don't really want you to stock our things, but we'd like the money, so we'll just throw you a load of bags of metal, and you can oh, deal cool. with it your end. <laughs> cool. <Wow. laughs> um, so that's one of the reasons I've got these super lovely packaging. Yes, yes. Um, Raging so Annie's there yeah, as well. Raging, Raging Annie. Annie. So uh, yeah, so shops because I have quite a lot of retailers now, so they can. That's one of the selling points. That's like, really good. It yeah. looks oh, lovely yeah. on a rack. Yeah, and you don't need the painted figures there or anything yeah, to do it. It's yeah. just. Nice for browsing. Awesome. And sort of shows it all off. I love a little... Uh, a bit credit, credit everywhere as well. Dice bag, lady bag. <gasps> oh, yeah, yes, I see a yeah, credit yeah, and the yeah, scroll. Scroll. And the painter. And painter. How I'm doing that since day one. Well, I suppose you are bad squid. I know, I do manner. get the little story about my life. Uh, that's good. Oh, cool. You've got a life story. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It was established by Annie Norman, a.k.a. the dice bag lady. I need to take that off now. Dice bag lady. <laughs> Again, this was when I was starting off and I just typed that up and I went, oh, they won't know who I am. Yeah, that sad little bag on the back he there. Is a sad, sad bag, little bag. That fella. Does he look sad there? No, nah, it's because he's not being used as a rucksack. He's picked up a bit. He's quite squashy. Uh, the next question I have is, uh, would you consider doing a line of voodoo-inspired miniatures? I really want to paint a voodoo priestess and voodoo. followers with all the wonderful occult details that go with that. Oh. Uh, not on the top, off the top of my head. I no. used to always say, maybe, and now I've pretty much go, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> purely because there is, and you know, get a lot of people gone. It's this and this. And like, there were a lot of women. <laughs> there have been a lot of women, either in history or fantasy and all that. Yeah. Arguably, um, fifty percent of the people yeah. that have existed <laughs> ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's get not, you in stats. Yeah, it's not <laughs> <laughs> learning. Um, yeah, it's not anywhere up the top. I'm afraid, yeah. but there's Just probably get, probably put on the list of. Probably potential, maybe down the line. Maybe someone somewhere who's done. Yeah, the, yeah. This, this, that's it. There's so many companies, and like, it's I get annoyed when it's hard for people to find me, and I think all oh, my peers, it's the yeah. same. Yeah, you know, we're all trying to be like, I'll be online, going hello, 
Yeah. And everyone's there arguing about the latest Horus Heresy, which is pushing them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so even people being negative about Gamers Workshop and stuff like that, oh, it's, still, still, yeah. it's still there in oh, feeds. Yeah. And they're going, hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, simple, simple question. What's your view on tactical rocks? I love tactical rocks. <laughs> yes. That yes. Guy hates them. No, I love them. Um, recently, I was at the British Museum, and something that made my day was realizing that, well, one, I got a bit emotional that uh, pretty much as soon as we started doing things as humans, we we went, let's just make little guys. So oh, it's just really? like oh. such old little guys. Yeah, yeah obviously cave paint and stuff, because yeah. I'm looking at sculptures. It's like little animals, little people, with some innate reason that we do that. And then from that, it's like, and then there's always been like the five acceptable poses for casting. <laughs> so all these really old models, like little tin things, yeah, yeah. and they're all on tactical rocks and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, yes, oh, it's all brilliant. in time. Because yeah, there are, when you're casting, it's still the same technique. Yeah, yeah. And while we've got better, because they say they used to be very, very 2D. Um, but yeah, it's always like, how can we, you know, make a different pose? How we raise the leg, yeah. put a rock under it. Yeah, it's, it's like, like oh, ancient leg, it's tactical like, oh, rocks. Yeah. I love it. Uh, so I, I do have a few tactical rocks and I always point when I'm talking to the sculptor about it, I'm like yeah tactical rock um, I do I I, 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 love I do quite rock. like a tactical rock yeah um, I don't mind I personally don't mind a tactical rock just as long as it's not attached to someone's only their big toe with a jump pad oh yeah that's when yeah. I have a tactical <laughs> oh, rock yeah. Okay, I was going to say usually your hate was flying stands right yeah it's yeah, flying, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I, yeah it's, I have a flying stand or put him on his feet, but yeah, don't, yeah. don't yeah. put his toe. That just, one recent, so I is that the recent yeah, I one. Yeah, okay. yeah, I thought that it looks, one. That yeah, one toe looks on a rock. Weird. Like he's, all it's like for that yeah. with the new, the new Dante. Yeah. Is he landing or is he taking off? Yeah, and either yeah. way, why did he decide to get on a precarious yeah, three foot high yeah. rock to do remember, either of them two things? Having a bit of a not a rant, but I was talking to one of the. Um, uh, guys in charge of miniatures, and when the first Age of Sigma box that came out with the Stormcast, you had like the Cornate stuff, and you had the Stormcast, and every now and again on the foot, there'll be like a little rock or a little bit of like a branch. And yeah. I'm like, why? So annoying. And I'll just snip it off because it gets yeah. in the way. It's just like an extra thing to paint. And it panned out. It was sort of to do with like the casting. Yeah. And it was like making sure, you know, it casted properly. Yeah. It's like, I, I like, understand why they've done it. feeds oh, through okay. and all that. Yeah. But I'm going to still snip it off. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Understand, yeah. I understand I only do tiny tactical rocks yeah. rather but, than, yeah, yeah, my ankles hitting this rock and I'm over here. Well, it's like, with, like say with Dante, I get it. The idea is thinking, to, like, to show I? flight. <laughs> it's to show flight because he's wearing a jump pack. But you go, you, will you go, well, what, you climb three foot and then decided to take off yeah, from that. Yeah. Or you decided to land from the sky and, then, like, and land on something that's precariously three foot high. <laughs> I understand it's trying to correct, correct, give the idea of flight, but it's, it annoys me. I'd rather just have a plastic, a See, transparent plastic rod. I, I, because I'm currently painting some of the uh, Custodes bikes yeah. and the, the Forge World Custodes guys that have like wings. Mm. Um, and they're, plastic but i don't want to put the plastic on because i'll paint over it because i'm terrible yeah um and i'm just like i just wish he was stood on a rock <laughs> because <laughs> i i don't like how i have to hold them and it's just a big pain in the butt and um yeah i'm all I about do, i've got to t- I'll tell you what, and people go oh that's a completely the wrong thing to do i'm, got, I'm gonna do oh, sorry, thank you. Oh, i can't oh, see your face there you go. you're, you're not, not one of those SAS you're, you're not you're not missing much <laughs> <laughs> what ones where i what, where, where i died so it's like, right. <laughs> Andy McNair. We used to do that on, we used to do them on exercise if we did a group photograph we'd do piss take SAS ones where we go we give mask and tape out to like half of us where we hadn't made it. <laughs> oh I thought uh, mask and tape was if you uh, so the black was if you were still alive. Oh sorry yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Well yeah. some of the other well, if you didn't got if you didn't get mask and tape you hadn't made it out of yeah, the mission. Yeah, that yeah, was the right. whole point. Yeah. Um yeah um yeah, I just um, I just I glue them on and glue them on as and then just um Paint and then them. just and just mask and tape over them. Um, yeah, that's how I do. Yeah, or just cover them in blue, just a big glob of blue tack all the way up the flying stand, and then spray them, and then wait till I finish painting, and then just peel it all off again. Interesting. Yeah, Very I'm not good. saying that's right. Someone will tell me it's not. No, but that's how I do. No, it. Is no, that all no, the that questions? Sense. Uh, no, we've got two more. Oh, two more. We've got two more. Um, I'm not sure how long we've been going. Uh, a long time, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you can you can speed answer these if uh, if you've got somewhere else to be. Um, if it's not too late, I would ask, uh, what is exciting you in the hobby space right now? Ooh. Oh, oh, 
go for what my brain went for. <laughs> so, you know, like, what's, what's the best response? Louise Sugden is exciting yeah. at the moment. Um, she's given me. I've gone all like, oh, fun girl. <laughs> so that's the answer. Because um, before, kind of before salute, I was getting in a bit of a funk, which I do a lot because I work by myself. Mm. Um, especially in lockdown when it was like all I am seeing is the internet and I don't do as many shows as I as I used to so you can quite easily go is this all terrible yeah, <laughs> is yeah. this all terrible and yeah seeing you know seeing bits online and being like oh it's all terrible and there is so many so many easy ways to get bitter <laughs> doing this yeah and it is partly you know like comparing so even just having GW here I'm nothing against them, but it's natural that you're like, can I stop comparing yourself to GW? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, are not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just not even worth it. Um, you know, so sometimes be like, oh, I've got a new release out and no one's bought it, but they're all buying this. And you can quite easily just get yeah. into this whole sort of thing. And I was, I think I was in a bit of a burnout as well. And then I had salutes. Um, and at the same sort of time uh, was when she set up Rogue mm. and just seeing how excited she was about stuff. It's almost like brought me back to the point where I was when I set it up because yeah. I was like, look how excited she is. Look how like enthusiastic. And this is awesome. And what she's doing is really awesome. And then it was like, oh, yeah, if I could see myself for a third party, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. third person view, but like, this is really awesome. And those sort of that and the salute at the same time, because obviously shows like salute i would say are amazing because it's people giving me money and saying i'm great all day so at the end of it i'm like yes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. i suppose yeah. you get to see um, the actual people as yeah well, and uh, seeing reactions yeah. and seeing people being like no way no way this is so cool yeah so that yeah. kind of like having other enthusiastic people around i think has hadn't yeah. realized quite how uh how much of a difference it makes and some sometimes in this industry there are a lot of very disillusioned people <laughs> that yeah, can you know you yeah. can sort of like fall into that being a bit of an old man with it and be like well it's a, it's a corrupt business anyway no one gonna sell anything yeah, you know yeah, yeah. um so yeah seeing someone sort of fresh at it and yeah. i think the that one of the first videos she did where she talked about a backstory I related to so hard and it's just like there is so many parallels yeah, yeah. and yeah it's like now that you're doing what you want to do this is so cool I'm like oh, I'm doing what I want to do yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is cool so that yeah I think that's given me that's all like bounce off your peers sort of thing yeah, has, yeah. has been a good thing and it's kind of gone that was partly why I'd like message you guys because it's like I want to like see people and <laughs> not yeah. just hide away and yeah, like, yeah. you yeah. know stuck yeah. in my brain and get out there a bit more and yeah see all the different people and what's going on and partly one of my issues is that like i said before it's so hard to be seen and so it's eight years and i'm just still like and you'll get people posting and a lot of times sort of larger influencers and stuff saying oh where are the female minis what and i'm replying <laughs> I'm like yeah. me i'm here hello yeah, let's yeah, do a yeah. thing and then it's like anyone <laughs> no, no one. And yeah, it's so easy. You're to like Hermione like, Granger trying yeah, to get into Yeah, like, No. And then I'm like, what's wrong with me? Am I yeah. just really dull? I was all my stuff crap. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I say just the nature of things. So like, I should actually be more proactive, uh, actually contacting people and getting on stuff rather than just, yeah, being in my little like, I cave mean, with my little logo going, no one sees From a creative my point of view as well, you can be your own worst enemy. I, mean, yeah. I had a bit of a wobble the other day when I was doing Shatterpoint and I was like halfway through the set, I was doing the baddies and I was just like, oh, am I any good at this? <laughs> uh, and you just kind of, because you've got nothing to compare to, you, you're in your own little environment. It's yeah. like a little micro sort of, well, we're our own little business, aren't we? Yeah. We're doing our own little yeah. thing. I don't have like other presenters around me doing their thing. I don't have other like... Edit. You don't have other editors around, so you know you're not you're like going. No, oh, I'm pretty good at this. And they're complimenting me. I'm doing all right. Oh yeah, I've seen what you did. That's a cool idea. I'm going to steal some of that and this, that, and the other. So there's a lot less collaboration and a lot less seeing what your strengths are and what their strengths are, and knowing yeah. that oh yeah, I'm get, having that confidence. To go yeah, I'm good at this for these reasons, and they're good at that for that reason. You become stuck in your own little world, and you're just like, I'm terrible. I'm awful. Yeah. People aren't going to watch this. This is oh, I can't highlight anymore. I can't do this. And there was like a little um, thing I shared with Pat about creatives. I was just going through this whole sort of like model of like, this is great. Yeah, oh, this is yeah, okay. yeah. oh, I'm awful. Oh, no, I'm starting to like it. This is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I just went through that whole process. Um, but yeah, I understand it. I mean, that's just like a small moment, but I can't imagine what lockdown must have done for your mindset. Oh, let alone. Yeah. <laughs> I um, definitely was going weird, widder. Um, but yeah, and just being online and being, especially things like Kickstarter where you can see the numbers. Yeah. And just being mm. like, 
this is going really well. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, that stuff. Like, because <laughs> I've got my brain costing up everything on people's yeah, stuff. Yeah. And being like, what was that? Because, you know, maybe if you have a bit of a flop or something, and then someone goes, everyone's really skint right now. They're just not buying models. So you're like, okay. And then you see something, and then they're all like, shut up and take my money. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and this one, there's so many different factors over things. Yeah, yeah. But your brain, yeah, just goes, I suck. I should just quit. Straight just goes quit. to that, yeah. Anyway, then you go to shows and, and there's like there's people's kids picking their first minis and mm. uh, there was someone at Salute that pretty much saw the live of like a bored kid that's just like, duh, 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 gets up to mine and it's like... Willy Wonka. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that is so good. That's good, yeah. Um, so yeah. when when I was a kid and I was a girl into it all and nobody else was, there wasn't that sort of community or anything. Um, so I was like this super weird little, that's why I'd say Louise's video. I was like, oh, this is like, really friends then. Weird little yeah, goblin girl. It's just me, yeah, with my little skeleton. It's being like, oh, and people's parents being like, you're basically a boy because you like boys things. So I'm just painting skeletons. It's not like, um, but seeing the, seeing the change of that has been, yeah. been really, really, really good. And just before lockdown, I used to go to the, uh, Emma used to run the, Thursday nights it was like painting tutorial things I started like going to words. them yeah 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 and yeah. it was just like yeah like a long table of people and there'd be groups of girls that are like 13 and stuff and it was just like again my inner child it's just yeah, like yeah. Be friends yeah. with me <laughs> <laughs> but yeah seeing see more of a mix yeah. is is huge yeah and that really like gives me that like oomph to to sort of keep keep on I suppose doing there's it. a generational thing there as well isn't yeah. there because like I mean I'd certainly say my mum and dad are pretty lay back about all that kind of stuff they didn't care I mean I wanted to join my army with dad. my dad was like because he was in the army I was just like do your art thing <laughs> do your art thing first and you know you could join the army at any point Pan, pans out you can't <laughs> <laughs> you're lying dad uh, but you know I, I'm glad I, I followed his advice it's the only time I probably ever did follow my dad's advice um, but you know they never stopped my sister from doing what she wanted yeah. to do or what I wanted to do and I think like, there are some like families out there I was just like that's a girl's thing because I've heard my uh, my old next door neighbours uh, they were a nightmare used to hate <laughs> having to because they were just loud they yeah. were just a loud family we've got a new bunch and they've got a brand new like two week old baby can't hear them no, you don't even know they're there uh, but the previous ones and the mum was always like that's the blue job that's the pink job I'm like oh come on really well you know the one of them where we live in the 1950s yeah. I remember a guy came into the shop one day uh, into my barber shop and he was livid he'd literally just come from this uh, from this thing in the park he said um, he said my son has been pushing his little pram and doll around the park and there's so many things wrong with this next bit he went and a man said to him said to my customer why are you letting him do that do you want him to grow up to be gay <laughs> wow and they're going yeah because on the whole they're generally well known for all of their pram pushing and small <laughs> children aren't they <laughs> yeah. i know they adopt well, but they don't adopt no in vast numbers in this, but yeah. yeah you know what i mean like dads exist yeah you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> If I had a pound for all the pam pram pushing I'd done as a heterosexual man, I'd have retired by now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bizarre. Yeah. I hate this thing of labelling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hate it. I hate oh, it so yeah, much. It's, really it's, it's like, you know, I was, I was hopefully moving you know, away from a lot of that. But I mean, I don't, my, my wife is far more practical than me, right? So she's got she's got guns. She's loaded, <laughs> and she does the DIY because she knows what she's doing. I don't have a clue. If I get that drill out, there's going to be water. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so she's she's trusted to do the DIY. Whereas I, I can I, I know how to Hoover because my mum taught me. I know how to like do the yeah. parts and make food. And Charlie sees that, and he sees yeah. like mum does some driving. She does some like uh, a lot of DIY, and dad's there going. Have you just spilt blooming rice krispies on that? I've just over that. Yeah, well, that's, that's what we're. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the you know, the, the ironing, the clothes, like doing the pack lunches, all of that. That's me. Yeah. You know, my my wife earns more money than I do, and she has a long, tiring day being in charge of, you know, students who are trying to get ready to go to university, and so. But it's just you get on with what jobs need to be got yeah, on with, doesn't it? And job. I think you know, you, yeah. you on a lot of levels, you have to bend the gender thing down, you know, and it because it's. I don't think I was ever a thing in the house. It was always like I ironed when mum was like, it's ironing night. So I'd iron my own stuff, like my old school uniform and stuff. Well, so. I do all the iron and the, of, and, um, well, I don't, I don't do all know, the iron. I, and iron I, do, I do the iron and if it's... <laughs> <in> <laughs> I do the iron do and if it's... Do not own an iron. No, my wife wouldn't dream of... 
ironing <laughs> creases into a pair of formal trousers. Yeah. Yeah. She'll bring them to me because yeah, she'll yeah. go, yeah. you know. Tram lines. Yeah, yeah, tram yeah lines. there you go. You know. <laughs> if I've been trusted to iron trousers that I can stand outside Buckingham Palace in, then I can be trusted. <laughs> Sharp to, enough to cut paper. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Right, you know, but yeah. So I, I would never dream of saying to my kids, you can't play with yeah. that or you can't have that. Yeah. You know, I I do. I just think that's ridiculous. I used to play my sister's know. Barbies and dress them up in the action man's. Uh, they wouldn't fit in the action man outfits, which is annoying, but. Exactly, but, that's uh, what you need. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah I, yeah I don't I like think, that um, that sort want. of when people because that's one of the things that comes up a lot is they're like oh what can we do to get more women into this and and so much of that is outside of wargaming yeah. it's not yeah. obviously there are issues but it's not we're not in a bubble it's a whole social thing so there's only so much you can do without you know all of society changing which it is slowly but it's like we said it's getting there it's generational and then there's just little bits you can do like not being mega weird. <laughs> it's never like, oh, we need to make an army just for women. It's like, just don't be weird. That's, yeah. that's it's a, simple, it's a pretty simple... Don't be yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty, yeah. si- pretty but, simple mantra, isn't it? Yeah, you know. and you know, and people have said to me, like, well, I rate, you know, my children aren't, aren't, say, aren't allowed, aren't not allowed to do things or anything, but they will choose this way. And like, yeah, because that's also society. And it's not also... Because then, again, if people gets into it, it's a whole other issue but yeah people go well my girl likes playing with barbie so that's fine <laughs> it's yeah. like again with choice it's not like she can't she has to have this wrench yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. it's like just all options are open to people no barbie yeah. only wrench <laughs> I'll fix my car just had that that scene from dodgeball and he's like if you can dodge a wrench yeah. you can dodge a ball dodge a barbie yeah yeah, it's, yeah i think you, you're right and it's like you know I have this with the shop being a barber. I mean, and people, women stick their heads in and go, do you cut women's hair? Yeah. And I go, no, the question is, do you want your hair cut in a way that is representative of being done by a barber? Yeah. <laughs> it's not whether I cut women's hair or yeah, men's yeah. hair. Do you, do you want your hair dressing sides. or yeah. do you want your hair barbering? If you want your hair barbering, I couldn't give a monkey's what your gender is. I'll do that. If you want your hair dressing, no, because I haven't done yeah. that trade. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a barber. <laughs> yeah. And it's, you know, people, I, I always... You know, and I, I, that's but there's why plenty that aren't like that. That's the whole thing. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. Going, I'm a woman. But if you I'd want like your, a short back and sides, yeah, if you oh, want no, a, your the, hair's like twice as expensive. Oh no! Like well, I, I have, I have female customers who come to me because the fact that they go, if I went and had mm. this done by a hairdresser, they'll charge me forty yeah, pounds, yeah, yeah. and you'll charge me twelve. And it's that thing of going. In some ways, you're being ripped off by your own gender. <laughs> yeah. You have to go to the opposite yeah. gender to get the honest, which is ridiculous. Because I've, I've got quite a few customers. Who, I've got quite a few customers who are gay, and they they don't want to go and sit in in the hairdressing environment. And they know even if they do, they won't get the haircut won't get the hair done by a hairdresser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've got quite a few customers who I've got quite a few customers who are gay, and they they don't want to go and sit in in the hairdressing environment. And they know even if they do, they won't get the haircut won't be by not all hairdressers. Yeah. Some are great barbers, but a lot of them they don't feel it'll have that look that a barber's done it. Yeah, and and they'll and they'll be charged charged two to three times more for the the. For the discomfort and the, the yeah. and, and, and not happy they, with the results. they get a coffee or a tea, don't they? Don't they? Oh, they apparently they do, yeah. But, yeah. The place I, don't I, do, the place I, don't I go to has got a whole bar, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do any of that. Oh, wow. I, yeah, yeah. I, I have always made an effort to only ever keep one cup in the shop and then I can't... <laughs> then I don't have to make a cup of tea for anybody else. I, I remember... Yeah. I, I used to live in a place... Well, near um, a place called Alice Street and they used to have a barber's there. Yeah, and he always said squire. Weird. I don't know if it's yeah, a yeah. thing or what. Well, oh, because you, because if <laughs> you, you don't know like wet cut as well. Because if like, you don't know people's <laughs> name, if you don't know people's names, yeah. you've squire. got squire, captain, boss, chief, chief governor, fella, boss, yeah, like mate, boss. fella, buddy. You yeah. know, you've yeah, got to yeah, you know, yeah, you've got to yeah, cycle yeah. through a lot of them. So I used to go to this guy who was called John Scales in uh, in Alistair. He used to get me haircut there all the time. And then uh, I can't remember why. I think he'd closed down, and there was no barber in Alistair anymore in Park yeah. Farm. But there was a hairdresser's. And I know as a kid, I went in there once. So I was just like, I'm just going to see if I get me out. That's when I obviously had lush, luscious locks. Of hair. <laughs> and I went in there and they were just like, yeah, you, you sit down, you, you get your cup of And I obviously got my hair cut. And I was like, roughly like, I tried to explain how I used to have it done. Didn't get a cup of tea. Everyone else did. I was livid. I paid the same price. Yeah. Didn't get a cup of tea though. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, apparently uh, you, you, can, you can go to a hairdresser, get a cup of tea if you get your barnet done. Yeah. When I mean, you just want a bit of shorts back and sides, it's out, like you shave yeah, out. Off you go. <laughs> Thanks. I was hoping for a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for it. My old hairdresser uh, used to have a like an unlimited beverage thing, and I 
believe they don't anymore because I exploited it once to see just how many wines I could get. Oh, really? Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. 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 Alcoholic <laughs> bar. Incredible. Like she is, In their life she, danger, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, couldn't, I, I, don't drink, I don't drink much, but if I had a really quiet day and I know I had beer, you know, you wouldn't want to be the last one of the day turned up. <laughs> If I'd had a big gap in the middle of the day, he'd come in and went, I left, he's normally very good, but I yeah. took the last slot of my haircut. Was he terrible. just gave me a bowl and just... <laughs> <laughs> Go strimmer. <laughs> strimmer. Do you want a manly haircut? <laughs> oh, last question. Me. Sorry, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> well, I, 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 I've realised this. Well, there, there is two. Uh, so, uh, this one says, Annie has done a lot of Kickstarters and I'd be interested to hear her experience of running them. So... Um, I do, I do like Kickstarters. Uh, I also like standard releases, and there's a, a bit of a thing where you become a Kickstarter company, which was always my fear, because mm. people just end Mantic. up being Got a Kickstarter bit that company. But <laughs> you release something, and it goes... <laughs> you do a Kickstarter, and you, you can't have it for a year. They're like, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. It is a, yeah. Oh, but, and at the start, yeah. I was really like, I'm not going to do Kickstarters, when that would have been the perfect time for me to do them. Um, and I, again, in the like, how easy it is to get bitter, you kind of look at other people doing them, going, but I've paid this money up front that I don't have <laughs> to make a miniature that yeah. you can buy and have tomorrow. And they're like, yeah, but that one's in two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I laid all the money yeah. down. Um, so that kind of what got me into it, into using Kickstarter, was they're like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, that listening to people online, because there were some people online going, oh, I'm really glad that you're doing standard releases and not Kickstarter. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it right. I'm like, that's the minority of people. Yeah. and They're not buying my releases either. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, point. it's great that you're making this stance. You're like, yeah, are we going to buy it? Yeah, like, yeah. No, I'm um, just going to comment. But that's so the it. first Kickstarter I did. I was like, if I get a grand, and I was really unsure if I'd get grand. And I think it was about 12 in the end. And that wow. was, uh, she was one of them. The sci- it was a sci-fi minis. Uh, hey, Megan, and I just yeah. thought, well, I'll see, see how it goes. And yeah, I'm like, this is addictive. Yeah, and yeah. it's and I like them because of because it is a sense of occasion because it yeah. does go on. It is like yeah. that whole, which is why I like the community minis as well because it's this whole like, well, community, the whole gang of it, um, and partly, well, a huge amount to be honest is that like I'm gonna sell way more on that, and when you've put a lot of money into them, the so sometimes that yeah, you'll put and it's it's so bizarre how. I used to think I'd look at other companies like when I was you know, before I was in the industry this way, and I'd see posts and you know they've got like a hundred retweets and all this stuff. I'm like, whoa! I wonder how many they've sold. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you'll get so many retweets, so many chop and take my money gifts. And on that release day, you might not sell one. Yeah, and it's yeah. mad. So you're like, yeah. but oh, wow. this and yes, yeah, so if someone looking in, they'd go, oh yeah, you'd think you must have sold quite a few of them. Um, so even the ones that kind of flop a bit over time they make the money and then because otherwise I wouldn't do it if they all sucked but you don't get that initial and it's like an initial sad sometimes even when they're okay even when the releases are okay you put all this effort into it and then you throw it out there and yeah if you get like a few sales or whatever it's just like yeah Ugh. and then knowing that's like well the retailers will take it and sell this many and then over time we'll sell this and it's going to be profitable and it's great you don't get that reward uh, yeah. mental reward as well as the money whereas kickstarter like generally uh they just pay for themselves straight yeah. away and you're like now we're straight into profit i'm not, <laughs> yeah. not there going yeah. Is it like more of a, a hype thing, thing than just like, it's it, totally it, hype yeah. um I think, weirdly, well, it's all about the freebies, but I don't really give them any freebies. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, before I did it, I followed a lot of different Kickstarters and went, what shall I not do? Yeah. And so you get, like, the odd bit, but I don't go, we've hit another target. Have all this. Yeah, <laughs> Have yeah, all this. Yeah. And I go, oh, I can't afford to fulfil this. Yeah. Because you've still got to make money from it. So uh, generally on mine, have them as... Uh, the same or similar to what the rrp will be because i don't have a full costing when i do the kickstarter of what it will be but i have a general idea from mm. similar size minis um but the money saving on my kickstarter is in the bundles so it's the like come on just get it all <laughs> just get it all and people other size come similar to me have done this like why are we giving kickstarter a slice we'll just do a fancy pre-order for our website because it's mm. the same thing and it's not so yeah. going doing my own pre-order guys you're getting all these bundles you get some freebies and it has the same like eh. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it is. It's absolutely yeah. wild. But yeah. I've just kind of accepted it as a thing now. So yeah, anything is, where I've yeah. put a significant amount of money is a bigger project. Um, and sometimes if an older an older range kind of needs a bit of a refresh or kick, if I add so like the My Last Sunrise two, that then brings up all my original horror mm. figures that they might not have seen and yeah, bundle it all. Uh, okay, yeah, um, that's a good move. Yeah. Um, so I do. I. I do like Kickstarter. I, I wish, I kind of wish it wasn't a thing, but it exists and it has, it's well, pretty much essential, I think, for a small company. I think as time goes on, tech changes, right? So like TikTok and YouTube, like back in the day, weren't a thing. Whereas yeah. now there's like fundamental to like doing what we do and for a lot of people. So, yeah. you know, you know, advertising like your shorts on TikTok and then doing like your, <laughs> your, like your, your shorts. Yeah, your shorts. <laughs> People love seeing my shorts on TikTok. Yeah. Not, not her, it's just the shorts. Um, uh, Peaky but yeah. dance compilation. <laughs> you don't want to see I definitely, that, I missed the golden age of, of Kickstarter when it was brand new and you could just put up like a, a little stick man and get a hundred grand or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now one of the conundrums with it is, and I think because it kind of did get misused by larger companies, but in the same vein, if I was in their position, I would do that as well. So the ones that get, I don't generally like talking about companies by name because it doesn't feel very professional. But as an example, just any of the larger ones where people go, well, they could release that and they could make loads of money. Like, yeah. But if they release it for Kickstarter, they'll yeah. make more money mm. and your business and you want to make money. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, as much as I'd go, hmm, they don't even need to do so, it. Yeah. If I was a CEO of one of those, I'd totally go, yeah, yeah, whack it on Kickstarter. Let's get a few million yeah. Yeah. rather than a poxy one million. But, yeah, that makes, um, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's changed and people are getting more wary, but I'm, I'm very good to my Kickstarter backers because my updates are always like, I know, I know you've been hurt before. Not yeah. by me, but you're still concerned. <laughs> yeah. So like, oh, they haven't updated in a week. Like, it's still all here. They're just being cast. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so many people have been burnt that they're like, mm, yeah. and they get really, yeah. really tetchy sometimes as yes. well. Yes, yeah. Um, but uh, you have to sound the everything's okay alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's fine. I'm still here. Yeah. Um, the... The thing now is that you almost have to have a Kickstarter to do the Kickstarter because you can't get away with the little stick man anymore. Yeah. You have to have the sculpts done. Yes. And yes. Are the sculpts yeah, yeah. painted. And that's a lot so of money before. Like reputation. Yeah. And people people aren't used to it because I did one a little while ago that still went well. But that with that, I was like, I'm going to do it as nature intended. <laughs> and I think because there weren't sculpts, it didn't do as well as it should have. Mm. And yeah, it's that, that catch 22. So the, what I do with mine is the, the money from the Kickstarter pays for the production, basically. So I'm like, I've already covered the... And then I feel yeah. a bit better about it because yeah, I've still got this yeah. like ingrained, like, never ask for money off people thing. You're like, okay, so I've done this and then we'll get it produced. And that's... Because yeah. if I did a Kickstarter for a real number for the amount that I'd need to cover that initial cost, I wouldn't hit the target. Mm. And there's a whole, so that's a whole episode in itself. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. managing a Kickstarter is, yeah. yeah. So if, because people do them, everyone does the target lower than it needs to be. Yeah. But I do it that I could still, it's I could still produce them. It'd just suck if I got that amount <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. But when you're larger, like a board game, that's where you get ones that look like they've double funded and then they pull it. And people are like, but why? Like, because... They, they needed it, a lot more. It didn't get funded. Yeah. And I was like, well, be honest. Like, well, if they're honest and put, you know, 200k or whatever for their yeah. board game, yeah. they're not going to hit the target. And then people don't back because it's not funded. And it's yeah. and yeah. it's this whole ah. thing. So it's there's so much to it. But I've um, run a few other people's Kickstarters as well because I love it now. I'm like, the Kickstarter game! Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, amazing. And then, yeah, I get a lot of people asking for his Kickstarter yeah. advice. Yeah. Um, I I was I saw um, speaking of like the bigger companies. Um, uh, I backed it recently because I enjoy the game. It's Apex Legends. Um, so like the battle royale, and it's like I'm a cool robot zipline. Um, and I was like, what are they doing on Kickstarter? Like they're owned by EA. Like yeah. they have so much money. But everything you've said just that makes complete sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. just for whatever reason Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like yeah. it is specifically Kickstarter. Other. There's other platforms, yeah, but like I just Game don't Found get because I want to try yeah. Game Found. Yeah, and the people seem quite nice behind it. Yeah, um, but it's just this like again the risk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I yeah. know pretty much what a Kickstarter is going to do now. Yes, and this other platform, like then people have to sign up for a new thing, and it's 
it's so yeah it's sort of like if it ain't broke sort of thing yeah kind yeah. of got to play the game a bit and yeah. i think it is getting a bit broke they are getting harder stuff where i'd kind of think yeah do that amount easy yeah. so like oh it's not oh, right. <laughs> it's not everything uh, changes yeah. doesn't it yeah you just yeah. gotta keep that's it yeah keep, that's it Quite, yeah like like you say like with the youtube algorithm and, oh, and the content that we're producing and trying to produce and make and thinking about it and you're like it's like fighting the ball yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> constantly changing them shields yeah buggers right final question uh rpgs uh, or uh, tabletop rpgs now seem more popular with girls our youngest had an all-girl D group in school from what she told me it seemed like it, uh, they murdered their way across a continent. Nice. Um, whereas tabletop wargaming doesn't seem as popular with the same demographic. Um, why do you think this might be and what can be done to make it more inviting? It's definitely a thing. I've been discussing this recently so with some peers and the conclusion we kind of came to, because I've been saying to a lot of people from the wargaming, because I'm very much wargaming world, but trying to sort of hello fellow kids <laughs> into mm. the uh, tabletop, which is why it's only the second year of Expo. Yeah. And I've been telling the Wargame people, and so why I've got more of the fantasy range as well. Um, but telling my Wargaming folks, like, you need to get to Expo. <laughs> it's like, there's women and everything. It's like <laughs> families and groups of young people. And it is so much more diverse. Yeah, yeah. Um, a weird, one of my weird emotional moments at one of the expos, because I've been for years as a punter, I used mm. to do little bad squid meetups in the pub and go, this, this yeah, is cool. cheaper, yeah. Yeah. till I was sure sort of thing about it. Um, but I remember saying to someone, I was like, I don't feel weird here. I don't feel like I'm this strange thing, which is again a lot less at war game shows now, but I've so been around and it'll be that like, oh, the, oh, and it's like this, like I don't quite, and then yeah, being an expert, it's like, I'm one of the people. This yeah. is great. Um, I don't know. Partly, um, someone was was uh, pondering the idea of whether it was maybe it's like the idea of not the idea of war, but maybe the people who get into the war things. It's the whereas role plays more sort of story based, yeah, and, yeah, rather than just like kill, 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 and that's when you get. It's, they're all quite long answers really because i don't want to generalize yeah because people will go like oh women are more into the caring and all that and there's some bits where those things are true but it's not necessarily we're just born like that it's that whole you're a child this boy gets a tank <laughs> and the girl gets the dolly and it's not so much the case anymore but it's still that sort of mm. ingrained um another thing i've kind of considered when uh people talking about all women more likely to get into skirmish games and stuff like that okay um so like how many women now are getting into the things as adults and that's quite a difference so when you get into something as a kid even if you stop you've got that nostalgia mm. so i now would never paint up another massive warhammer army and i had a massive undead army and so then you've got all the stuff that you might summon and to tell someone that starting that as an adult like, well, you got to like, pay a grand or more and it'll take you forever to paint it. And you might not like it. Mm. <laughs> Whereas if you've already done it as a kid a bit, you're almost like pre-primed mm. and you're more likely to be pre-primed if you were a boy because it was kind of marketed towards you and it was a boy thing, you know. Um, I've got like this, I'm trying to condense probably a two-hour lecture. Yeah. <laughs> so there's something yeah, a, bit, yeah. a, bit, a bit like... Um, but, you know, if you get into it as an adult and you've no experience of it, so if things are opening up and being more accessible to women, you know, they're, they're older, uh, then, yeah, somebody who's got a job and a <laughs> life and all that sort of stuff, if you're like, this thing, you only got to paint like two figures. Yeah, yeah. And it's not going to take up your entire life. But there's so much, I, I do want to do a whole thing on it, where it's that, like, the woman is still primarily the, the caregiver for the kids and stuff, and obviously not in all instances mm. but a large amount so that's the like lack of spare time yeah to no, be able yeah. to paint a you know, million ghouls <laughs> or whatever <laughs> yeah um so it's more i think it's that just um uh what's the word community just seems nicer yeah and um, it's weird because i'm still i can see the role play community and be like this looks way friendlier for me has more people that i look like i could get on with but as something where I'm just an old man on the inside or something. I'm like, oh, but I want to play some World War Two, yeah, which is fine. So that's partly why I'm kind of like, maybe they're okay. They they they're developing there, and yeah. that's nice. So like, yeah. I'll, I'll stick in like the worst place I can possibly be in the hobby. 
Although that's, that's not been a good advert it's for Here on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you think it could be something along the lines of as simple as board, game, board games versus war games? I mean, because from from my point of view, I've always watched my dad build up like big armies and I was like, oh, I want to do that. And my sister was never into that, but she liked playing Hero Quest. Then she dabbled in that. And that was like kind of a, because it's a board game and yeah. all the family play board games, right? Near enough, been, been on the family. Um, and my wife plays board games and, you know, from time to time, whatever board game, like Monopoly or Risk or whatever, you could argue Risk is kind of like a war game, but, yeah, yeah, figures, so but it's entry. still a board game. <laughs> Um, and I, and I totally understand like th- there's, there's parallels with me. Like nowadays as, as a parent, I just don't want to paint armies. That's yeah. why I do skirmish games because you only need to paint a handful yeah. of stuff because your time is just saturated. I think it's definitely, so not just women, it's just people now. Yeah, like, I think, yeah. Cause yeah. Getting, the games are getting smaller. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think after a long day, I don't want to play a men- multi-hour game. Okay, could you, is it an hour done? Yes. Two hours. Yeah, maybe. Cause I, f- I feel like D and D feels like, even though it's, it, it's not the same, it kind of, packages in a way like a board game mm. um, the way like you got the books you got like sometimes tiles and things like that and yeah it's story driven expo is very much a board game related yeah. event so there's a m- lot more diversity there whereas like i don't know partisan or salute is more clearly war games um there's that- definitely that massive maleness in historic not historical war game but like the history of war game yeah it's yeah, always yeah you know, well not always, but very largely been that sort of dad son thing and yeah. going back to the invention of what was it? Um H. D. Wells. Yes, and it's like yeah, yeah. it's for boys and girls that aren't like other girls. <laughs> like, yeah, you were close. <laughs> you were close. We didn't quite get there. But that was, you know, who yeah. was playing it. And I maybe because yeah. it's got that history sort of embedded in it. Whereas I don't know, well role play is still not new, but it's I don't know. It could just there's so many and there's so yeah, many like yeah. huge reasons that are are I, outside of the hobby, just so social reasons. I just see a lot of comments in the uh, in the comments know, section. It's very like massive essay, um, which is good, which is yeah. good. We want. Do you that, think but. it's as well as because um, uh, ro- role play D and D and so on? It's got a nicer thing in the fact that you generally play it as a group. So it's a little bit more, it's social and it's yeah, a group. Yeah. And is it not this fear that I think sometimes uh, that women would have if they were going to go and say they were going to play, if they were going to play war games and it potentially be blind against someone they didn't know, they're going, well, I'm going to go and I've got to be facing a really hyper competitive man. And it, and you're going, I'm feeling like I'm going to be spoke down to or whatever. Whereas it, there is a, a nicer sort of, everyone it's more welcoming yeah and, and the fact that you it's and it's it's community and the fact that it's discussion based and you go should we yeah. turn left and go towards the forest or should yeah, we yeah, turn yeah. right yeah. and go and it's got whereas i think you're going there's a very strict set of rules to war game and then you're potentially going to come up against somebody who's going to follow yeah. every blum and dot and every cross t in, in it and i think i think that to some degree i think can, yeah. can have a bearing on it it's a bit more intimidating one-to-one as opposed to Especially, community. yeah, if if the culture's already there as like not well, not so much hostile now, but I yeah. definitely found it hostile at the start. start yeah. But I'm naturally <laughs> seem again seem to like putting myself in situations yeah. where I'm like <laughs> this sucks. I could just do the other thing. Like, yeah. nope, nope, I have decided now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's such a complex thing that you can't really sound by, and it does. Um, it's hard to do about sort of generalising because you have to generalise of the nature of it as well. Um, and what I always like to point out in anything where women are mentioned is that I am only talking from my own experiences. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I know I get anger when I <laughs> see yeah. you know, a woman going, well, all us women, like, hang on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we've all got different experiences um, and different backgrounds and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yes, yeah, the, the situation isn't, just war game and it's the whole yeah just everything yeah. of how society is um but i've totally rambled and no, it's like well, yeah role playing's nicer but please come to war games yes, it's not that yeah. bad <laughs> well, i mean when this when this airs it will be uh our patrons will see it first but uh folks will have uh games actually would have been a gone uh, yeah. so we'll see us next Monday hopefully I'll be rolling yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. hopefully I don't pop all the balloons uh, maybe some of them <laughs> uh, thank you very much for coming on the show by the way it's been a pleasure having you on I'm I'd sure like to come back more... and finish all the other things oh yeah I'm sure you've got a whole list that's the problem with our show like, we do go work, off on topic quite work. a lot um, well, we'll put your um, uh, links. shop in the, the links in the description yeah. so uh, check links. out Annie's uh, Bad, Bad Squidio Games at the store there's lots of yes. cool stuff on that yes and it is for it. everyone 
It is for everyone. <laughs> it's for everyone. Yes. Uh, do hit the like and subscribe. And, and we have patrons. As I said, we have patrons. You'll get to see it first because, well, that's what happens money. when you're a patron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Money, money, special money. people. Yeah. 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 As always, thank you uh, for being our patron. Um, and if you do want to join, just check out the, the various tiers we have. You know, and you competitions. Can, and competitions. Yeah. Yes, we have one run at the moment yeah. uh, for June. You could win. An army painted by me, as well as the uh, Soul Shackle box in it as well for Kill Team. So it's a Cornate army which has anger on himself. So, yes, fast and done. But yes, thank you so much for Thanks coming for on. Having me on. Uh, there's yeah, always more we can sense. talk about. Yeah, yeah always. <laughs> <laughs> you made loads of sense. It's fine. It's been good. <laughs> I've learned a bit more about the English language. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my post-interview doubt now. Where I kind of start thinking, like, <laughs> honestly, oh, what did I say? Other, other than oh, what did family, I say? You can't offend me. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. don't, just don't murder. Why did I murder? Family. <laughs> 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 darling, darling. <laughs> and he's like, I killed them all. But I've got you loads of lady toys. Thanks. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I'll end it on that. <laughs> yeah, lady, like to lady toys sounds a bit dubious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, well, too late, you've done it. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>